Welcome. It's nice to have you here. I'm so glad you could come. This is going to be such an exciting day. I hope you enjoy it. I think you will. Isn't it about time for somebody's favorite radio program? Theater of the Absurd. I got a bad feeling about this. Welcome to Tuiville. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. I'll juice you up. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Welcome, my friend, to the show that never ends. Go ahead. Make my day. Hi, this is Kevin Pollack. You're, of course, listening to Tuiville with Steve Tui. Yeah, that's that's just too much Tui, isn't it? Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Roger, ready to move out. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. There behind the glass has a real blade of grass. Be careful as you pass. Move along, move along. Seventh day of June 2023. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome into the amusement park for your mind, the carnival for your cranium, the holiday for your head. I would be your host, Steve Dewey. Joining me as always, Chrissy Martin. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. I don't know what to say now that there's not a play to talk about. Oh, all right. Well, well. really, no. <laughs> I, was, I was so interested in it. Oh, now it's, yeah. now it's just. It's just back to normal. Yeah. You're no, just, we have a new play to you're, talk about. You're, just, you're not an actress anymore. <laughs> just, uh, that's true. That's true. Yes. Yeah. Your, your children are directors. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should have directed you in the play. That would have been funny. Telling mom what to do. Right. Yeah. No, they did give me some yeah. tips. That was yeah. one of the reasons I did it, so we could like have a bonding experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good, good. Of course, uh, your uh, daughters are co-directing, co-assistant directing the Fendig yes. uh, uh, play this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Good stuff. Uh, today is happy birthday to you day. Decide to be married day. You got to decide. Every you day, d- apparently. You do have to decide. Or at least once a year on this day. Yeah. You decide. No, you have to decide all the time. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Helen Keller Day. Industrial Workers of the World Day. Bingo Day. HIV Testing Day. Ice Cream Cake Day. Indian Pudding Day. Orange Blossom Day. National Post Traumatic Stress Disorder Awareness Day. And Sunglasses Day. Wear them at night. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wear them because the future is so bright. That's right. <laughs> uh, I wear them. <laughs> Those are the only two signs I can think of about uh, sunglasses. Yeah. yeah. No, no. no. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we'll come yeah. up with more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, was there any other things on uh, on your list that I missed? Did you have World Iraq Day? A R A K. I did not have World Iraq Day. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. What is it? It is. A day where you go buy a rack, so you can <laughs> hang your coat. It is a alcoholic beverage known as a rack. It, uh, see, its its roots are in the Middle East. It dates back several hundred years. Hmm. Um, it's got an, an, an anise seed flavor, it says. It's distilled. All right. Never heard of it. <laughs> I have also never heard of it, but I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. So. Well, most people don't have never heard of it either, so just play it off and pretend like you're saying it right. Yeah. All right. It's clear and unsweetened, and it's uh, enjoyed in the traditional way. It's with water and ice. All right. So there you go. Well, unsweetened, that's good for you, yeah? Yeah. 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 All yeah. right. Mm-hmm. And uh, did you have Industrial Workers of the World Day? I did. You did. Okay. I then, think. Okay, then we're good. I thought I did. Let's look. Uh, yes, Industrial yeah. Workers oh, of okay. the World there Day. There we go. Okay. All right. All right, let's see what's happening. The FDA is releasing guidelines for research into therapeutic use of psychedelics. Yeah. All right. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll, you know, help you through your day. If you're seeing things that aren't there, that's, you know, will help you out. Sure. Uh, I'm hoping they legalize those mushrooms that uh, make Mario Brothers big. Yeah. I think that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> pop those. And, bloom, 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 bloom. Yeah. I'm gonna need I can't the sound. the noise. I'm going to need the sound to go with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Uh, we mentioned today is National Bingo Day, so needless to say, President Biden taking the day off. Yep. Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really Priorities. Yeah, bingo. Uh, today's also Helen Keller Day. I have to admit, I didn't see that coming. Ha Blind jokes. Yes. Uh, Dana White says Joe Rogan may host the Elon Musk Mark Zuckerberg fight. Just saying that sentence made brain cells die. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a whole group of stupid right, right there. Yeah. That's like you. Whoo. Steve, come up with the jerkiest sentence you can possibly come up with. And that's the one right there. Uh, there's a new Broadway musical about Britney Spears. It's called Once Upon a One More Time. Okay. Yeah. All I would have right. gone with My Bear Lady, but whatever. You know, that's, I think that would have fit better. Sure. Uh, Taylor Swift has asked fans to be kind to people she's dated. Okay. Then right after that, she went into a medley of songs about crappy boyfriends and just inserted all their names in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but you guys be nice to them. Uh, Rob Schneider has endorsed Robert Kennedy Jr. for president. I didn't even know there was another Robert Kennedy Jr. I didn't either. Yeah. Um, well, Robert Kennedy Jr. definitely has the Deuce Below male gigolo vote sewn up. He's all set now. Okay, yeah, all right, good, yeah. 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 I don't really go to uh, Rob Schneider for my politics. No? I no, I don't, no. I don't go anywhere for my politics. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I want to wait and hear who Pauly Shore endorses, and then, then, then yeah. I'm voting. That's yeah. right. Pauly said you're good. Okay. Uh, and uh, lastly, Fox News has a brand new primetime lineup that they've unveiled. Uh, similar to uh, the previous lineup, it's just uh, a bunch of my pillow ads with some opinion-based news programs shoved in between all oh, those. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hi, this is Jeff Daniels. You're listening to Deep To It. Hi, what can I do for you? You got to ask yourself one question. Oh yeah, what's that? Do I feel lucky? Say what? Well, do you punk? It is your lucky day because today is National Bingo Day. Bingo! Bingo what bingo? Bingo! Celebrate National Bingo Day by finding a local bingo hall for a day of games. Happy National Bingo Day. Bingo! Showtime! Bingo! You guys are the big winners here. You're listening to Chrissy and I have fun in the morning. Big winners! (laughs) <laughs> uh, of course, this show is running about to <laughs> Jasper County, RMC, powered up to email each and every morning right here on the queue. That one made you laugh, huh? I could write a million jokes. I act stupid, and that one knocks Chrissy out. Yes, it's, That's it's, all it takes. <laughs> I don't need a lot of pop and circumstance. <laughs> Randomly shout things. Right. <laughs> South Dakota. <laughs> yeah, South is funny. <laughs> right. Not North. No. But south. Yeah. No. Uh, of course, this show is running brought to us in, uh, also by uh, the connections that are in DeMott. Visit DeMottConnection.com to check out all the great things that they are doing over at the Connection Center in DeMott. Slow down there, big voice guy. I'm in the middle of some things. We'll get to you, you know, a little bit later on when we're not talking. Uh, visit. DeMontConnection.com, and of course, go and like the Connection Center on Facebook. All right. Uh, speaking of Facebook, uh, we got a poll question from yesterday. We're going to get to one for today. Yesterday, we asked you, do you usually wake up before your alarm? Chrissy and I both need an alarm to uh, to wake us up, uh, except for, like I said, when I have Ace, mm-hmm. he, all he has to do is hear a noise, and that's it. And then we're going to have bark fest. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but uh, uh, mostly, I need an alarm to to wake myself up. A lot of people, though, waking up before their alarm. Seventy eight point nine percent said yes. They wake up before their alarm. Really? Yes. So, twenty two percent about uh, saying uh, no. I, I get up with the alarm, but most people get oh. up before the alarm. Very surprised at that. Yeah. I mean, well. Let's see. Now, if you had your alarm set for seven, Uh would you wake up before it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's most people aren't waking up, I don't think, on their own at four o'clock in the morning. I'm pretty sure. Right. I could be wrong. Maybe a Mm -hmm. lot of these people also get up that early. I mean, they, they pop in and listen to us and maybe they get up early. George says, I haven't set an alarm in decades. Wow. Uh, Debbie says, I don't set an alarm. Or Deb, sorry. Uh, James says, 10 minutes before my alarm every day. Uh, Sherry says, even if I wanted to sleep until my alarm goes off, my cat won't let me. So the cat says, (laughs) 
Wake up. See, my dogs do not get up with the alarm. I mean, they're they're still sleeping every day yeah. when I leave. They look so cute, and I don't want to leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Once, once we're done going outside, Ace is yeah. like, all right, well, enjoy your day at work. I'm going to sleep for a while. <laughs> like, uh, you know, you want to come back after the show and give me some food, that'd be cool, but I'm going to sleep for a bit, you know. <laughs> So then you can go back, and I'm going to go yeah. back to sleep. Okay. That'll be fine. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rhonda says, never used an alarm. Uh, Sue says, uh, yes, I did, but retired, and now I still wake up early, though. So I have a feeling when, once I'm retired, I'll wake up early, too. Yeah, I, think I don't so. think that'll ever leave my body again. Oh. It it did for a while. Yeah. I was doing afternoons there for a bit. Okay. And and I became a night owl because I was really into the, the late night talk shows. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'll ever get back into the late night talk shows again. I don't uh-huh. think there's anybody that I... For a while there, I was like, every night, it was John Stewart and David Letterman. And it was, it was like clockwork. I would watch the two of them. And I would usually watch Letterman through his monologue. And then I'd start to doze off. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, John says, yes, I'm retired, so need, no need for an alarm clock. Uh, can't even remember how to set one. So, uh, well, I don't actually have an alarm clock. Yeah, I use my... I haven't had a real alarm clock in a very long time. Yeah. I wish I did, though, because you're not supposed to look at your phone in the middle of the night. And I was, I'm always curious what time it is. You look mm-hmm. at your phone, and then you are you set off your dopamine sensors, and then you're like, it's time to get up. Yeah, I anyway. saw that, too. Um, I, I watched a video about how to keep yourself, like, how to fall back to sleep faster, and that was one of them, is, mm-hmm. you know, fight the urge to, to look at your phone. Yeah. Because then you look at your phone, and then you start to go, oh, I got to get up in an hour. I got to fall back to sleep. I just got to oh, fall back to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, I still do it anyway. I, I, <laughs> I cannot can, be stopped. I can fight it all I want. Can't I just, I can't do it. Yeah. I just, I, I want to fight it. And then mm-hmm. you know what happens? I yeah. lay there fighting it. Go, oh, I'm not going to yeah. look at the clock. I'm not going to mm-hmm. look at the clock. But what time is it? Is it going to, is the alarm going to go off in five minutes? What's the point in even going back to sleep? <laughs> is it, it seems like it could be like 10 to four. It yeah. seems like, you know, and then yeah. I look at it and it says two thirty, and I go, I got lots yeah. of time. I'm going back right. to bed. And then, yeah. uh, I, can then I can say, relax. Alexa, what time is it? And then she'll tell me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she'll tell the whole house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have the the downstairs one pretty loud so that I hear the alarm. <laughs> yeah. See? Uh, uh, Cheryl's got an alarm clock that is like a digital laser. So oh. she's got it underneath a, a, a cabinet mm-hmm. and it points at her dresser. Oh. So if she rolls over, she could see the time on the dresser, oh, but gotcha. it's not very bright. It's I mean, it's bright enough when it's dark, but it's just yeah. faint. So, um, but yeah, I haven't had a an alarm clock. Mm-hmm. Thirty years, maybe, maybe oh. twenty years. Oh no, not that long, really. Oh. I don't know how long have our phones been telling us uh, what time it is. I haven't been using it as an alarm that long, though. I don't no. think. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say at least. 10 years, 12 years. Yeah. Realistically, yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably probably since 2010, I'm thinking. I don't think we've used, whenever we moved, we stopped using an alarm clock. So yeah. probably four years ago, we have stopped using one. We have one somewhere. We just never went back to it. <laughs> uh, no, I have one. I yeah. have a, a, um, a clock radio. Yeah, but that's that, what we have. Yeah. That's in my kitchen, so I can listen to the radio station. Ah, makes yeah. sense, yes. So I go, that's where it's at. So if it's working mm-hmm. or something, then I just go, and it's got three presets, and it's all three yeah. of our stations. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, our friend Tony, used to be my friend, but then uh, Chrissy uh, absconded with him, uh, says, wow, surprising results. Um, yes, Tony, it is surprising results. <laughs> <laughs> Our northern co- correspondent, Tony. <laughs> Tony wants to do radio so bad. <laughs> uh, I, Tony's doing his own little show in his truck. He's just like, you yeah, know, like is he? Doing a poll question. <laughs> uh, and Jason says, uh, yes, uh, about 10 minutes before the alarm, but I don't crawl out of bed until the alarm goes off, contemplating if I actually want to go to work every morning. You know, I, I don't do that, but there are times that I will wake up before the alarm. And then I will just lay there until the alarm goes off. Oh, like yeah. Like, I'll lay, cuddle with the pup or, you know, mm-hmm. just pet him or something. And, yeah. And just lay there and go, I know it's going to go off soon. I do the snooze, and I won't necessarily fall back to sleep after snooze. But I'll just lay there and go, okay, I know I'm going to oh. have to get up here soon. Yeah, I don't like you know? snooze. I never hit the snooze. No? No. No. I thought we discussed this. No. Wait, I don't, wait, wait. You don't hit snooze, but you have multiple alarms. I have multiple alarms, but I don't hit snooze, yes. Well, yeah. that's I have... essentially the same thing. <laughs> well. Because your alarm goes off at 10 to 3. Right? No, 10 to 4. 
Three fifty. Ten to four. Yes. Okay. Do you yeah. pop out of bed at that point? I look at my phone and I start waking up. Yes. But then I have another one to go off at 4.10, and then I have another one at 4.20. Those and then are your I have snoozes. <laughs> that's your snooze. And I have another one at 4.30. Yeah, that's your snooze. Yeah. I I have one. Well, I've talked about this before. I have one that's that I snooze once, Yeah. and it goes 10 minutes, and then it goes another 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And then after that, so after the, the, the two snoozes for yeah. 20 minutes, then it's a... You better get up. Let's yeah. go. It's a different sound. Yeah. And it's annoying enough that I get up. Oh, all yeah. right. There you go. So then yeah. I usually lay there for about a minute or two just waking up. Contemplating like just, life. Yeah, just, Wondering to, just why. making sure my eyes still work and everything. And, you know. <laughs> why, oh, why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> and, and 90% of the time, that's plenty of time for me. But this morning, Ace was, uh, uh, as you like to say, puttering. Yeah. Out in the backyard. And oh, I was like, let's yeah. go. Smelling I, all the smells? Yeah. Usually when I say, okay, but I got to go to work. Yeah. He's like, okay. And then he runs in. This time I was like, all right, but I got to go to work. Yeah. He's like, okay, but I'm going to pretend to pee over on this piece of grass for a little while. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to walk over here. And then I got to go check this thing out. Yeah. I'm like, we've been out here for 20 minutes. You got to, let's go. You yeah. got to do your thing. What's happening? And he's like, okay, but how about if I, and I go, really? Let's go. <laughs> and then he ran it. But because of that, I, I'm, I know it's not noticeable to anybody else, but I know it. Uh huh. I didn't shave today. Oh. No, no scruffy. Oh. So, well, yeah. It is very loud. Your face is so loud. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's, it's short whiskers. Oh. Very short whiskers. It's yeah. like sandpaper. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Well. All right. Nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> all right. Our poll question for today, since it is National Sunglasses Day, how much do you usually spend on a pair of sunglasses? No more than a dollar. Well, nope, not sure. Not sure. Dollar twenty-five. Ooh, okay. I went with the lowest is five, so I didn't realize we can go that low. So we I can went, go that low. Yeah. So I went five to ten dollars, ten to fifteen, fifteen to thirty, and then I went fifty or more because because after that you're just being ridiculous. Yeah. So well, you know, I don't I know, know though. I, I know s- there's people that spend hundreds on sunglasses. I just well, they're prescription it, or know. something. Yeah. Mm-hmm, no. No. Uh, so, but I I spent a dollar twenty-five, but I have easily ten pairs. Of a dollar twenty-five because yeah. I want them everywhere. Mm-hmm. My eyes are really sensitive, and I don't want to be without them. Right? No, I get it. Listen, I'm yeah. not knocking it. I I spend very little on my sunglasses, and I thought the five to ten range was very little. I yeah. didn't realize I could go a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, you better change yeah. that because yeah. I can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, I get really mad if I spend more than a dollar and they break too. Oh, I get so mad. That's why I don't. So I have what I call my fancy. Expensive glasses. Mm-hmm. I spent twelve dollars on those. Twelve? Oh my <laughs> gosh, double digits? Are you crazy, man? I know. I know. I, I have double digits in the amount of the sunglasses, but not because <laughs> I might right. leave them somewhere. I might, you know, I just mm-hmm. need to make sure I have one in every location ever, always. All right. <laughs> so I'm putting in there one to five dollars. There you go. Right. There. All so, right. Yeah, Good job. So that you can. <laughs> you can vote. Jeez. If it if Way it has more than me. if the, if it has more than one vote, I'm going to laugh. I, I or, or if it only has one vote, rather, I will laugh. <laughs> if it only has just the one vote, and it's Chrissy with her dollar twenty five sunglasses. No, listen, I just haven't gone to the dollar store to, to buy one. You know, yeah, they have to, great to selection of sunglasses. Uh, people have said the same thing to me about readers. They're like, you got to go over there. Oh like, yeah. yeah, they have yeah. so many. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so my daughter was prescribed readers, and I almost went and just got them over there instead of getting them prescription. Yeah, yeah, but they didn't have they didn't have the right magnification. Instead of prescription, she went to the dollar store. Listen, you don't need to read that bad. Just take these; it'll be <laughs> fine. It's <laughs> hold the phone. So my daughter has pretty pretty thick prescription, uh-huh. and these are just readers on top of her contacts. Uh huh. So mm-hmm. she just needs a little tiny, a little baby breeder, right, which sure. is like mm-hmm. 75. So you didn't have listen, to get them prescription. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I could go buy those. Listen, we've got four kids. We can't be spending <laughs> on all of you, okay? We have to <clears> pick <throat> and choose week to week which oh, ones we're going to spend on. I'm <laughs> three sets of braces in and so many glasses. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> oh, my. Listen, it's fine. Reading is going away anyway. Just get the books on no, audio. It'll be fine. Stop. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> Jeez. 
Just sit closer to the television. It's fine. Yeah. We're not spending money on your eyes, okay? <laughs> Deweyville. Something strange happened to me this morning. Was it a dream where you see yourself standing in sort of sun god robes on a pyramid with a thousand naked women screaming and throwing little pickles at you? <laughs> no. With Steve Tuey and Chrissy Martin. Why am I the only person that has that dream? Welcome back to Tuyville, portions of which are brought to us this morning by our friends over at McDonald's in Remington, DeMott, and two great locations in Rensselaer, one out by the highway and one on College Avenue. You know, the one on College Avenue is open 24 hours on Friday and Saturday. Take advantage of that. Lots of great stuff going on at McDonald's. Make sure you use your app for the cheesy jalapeno bacon quarter pounder. Uh, also, how about the uh, cheesy jalapeno breakfast sandwiches? That'll be coming up in July. Make your plans uh, to head over there. Use the app. Also, want to mention our friends over at Virks. Visit Virks Fine Jewelry, creating dreams and memories through knowledgeable and creative custom jewelry design. Let them turn your ideas into wearable pieces of, pieces of art. Visit virks.com or visit them in person at the corner of 18th and Main in Lafayette. All right, Chrissy, a study found that people who nap have bigger brains. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. All right, sure. Just because you have a bigger brain doesn't make you smarter? Is that is it? Because I've seen a lot of people with big heads, and they don't necessarily seem smart. I don't think it's, hmm. I think it's size is how you use it, maybe, your yeah. brain. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't, it's... it's that's yeah. that's right. It's not about the size, Chrissy Martin. Oh it's how you use it. Sure. She said it, everybody. It's <laughs> out there. Right. <laughs> I knew it. The size of your brain. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's whatever. It's, I'll take it however <laughs> I want to take it. I will take it and use it until Mythbusters proves me different. All right. Uh, <laughs> What did they prove me different on the other day? You said that uh, something about uh, something. You guys watched on Mythbusters, and I just oh. won't believe it. I, I'm doing this to you all morning, just yeah, asking you to remember I things from previous remember. times. I don't remember. I don't either. It's okay. Uh, our brains shrink as we get older, uh, but the study found that taking short naps when you feel like you need them could help prevent that. Just don't nap too long. They say 15 minutes is enough. So maybe that's why your kids come and wake you up. They're like, Ma's been out for 15 right, minutes. Right, come time. on, yeah. Poke her with yeah. a stick. Yep. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes seems like the perfect time. If it's more than 20 minutes, I'm like groggy and it's 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 time to get up. <laughs> if if I decide midday, yeah. like I have to go do something or, you know, I'm going to, that I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. I set the alarm for 20 minutes. Yeah. And I just, I lay back and I go, okay, 20 minutes is, is all I'm going to do. Uh -huh. and then you're right. That seems to do it for me. Mm -hmm. The study uh, didn't show causation, just correlation, meaning the brains of people who take naps seem to age more slowly, but it's not clear if it's because they nap or if there's just some other reason they don't really know. There's just uh -huh. not, they didn't put a lot into the study, just enough for the government to give them money, I'm sure. Oh, okay, good, good, yeah. good. <laughs> uh, also, previous studies have found too many naps could actually be harmful, so keep that in mind. Excessive oh. napping uh, can be an early sign of dementia in older adults, so... What's excessive? Right. I mean, guys, come on. Is once a day too like, much? So go go take a nap. Uh, I don't know. Does it mean I have dementia? I, oh. I, did I already take a nap? Now I got to think about it. Oh, it's oh, like, did I already man. take the aspirin? I always wonder, did I take the aspirin? <laughs> They're just messing I have a with headache. people did now. Did I take the aspirin? Yeah, I mean, did I take the nap? <laughs> yeah, now you're just messing with people. What's excessive napping? Once a day? No. Three times a day? I would say once more than once a day. Okay, so you're allowed once a yeah. day. Yeah. All right. If I, especially if I have something to do that evening, I know I'm going to need a nap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, it depends on what you're doing. When you yeah. get up at 4 o'clock or 4.10 or 4.20 or 4.30, depending on which <laughs> alarm you listen to, <laughs> it's, well, it's understandable. Well, they're not all. The, the alarms are not created equal. <laughs> they're all different alarms. <laughs> no, I understand. I, I they're understand all different what happens. sounds and they're all different yes. meanings. And like when they pop up, there's different text behind them. Wait, so they're not all to wake you up? No. One is like, <laughs> you should Do be Do we want to dive into this? Because yeah. I, I feel like I could really enjoy this, but I don't want to get <laughs> too personal with your life. Oh, no. You know? it's One is, you need to think about getting up. That's the 10 to okay. 1. All okay. Right. That's ten, all right. 10 to all 4 right. is... 
you know, we're getting close right. to the time. Okay. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the 410 one is, if you're not out of bed, you need to be out of bed. <laughs> so does so is there no alarm from 10 till till, till 10 after? Um, so it's a 20-minute gap? You know what? I don't know. Do I have one? At, I might have one. at. Because 20-minute gap, to me, feels like I'm going back into REM sleep. I'm, oh, I never go back I'm to out. sleep. No. Let's see. Oh, you don't? No. Hmm. Um. So yeah. the alarm goes off at three fifty. You're right. I do have a twenty minute gap, so I need to cinch that up. That's too much. What? <laughs> so, so your alarm goes off at three fifty. Yes. And you don't go back to bed, but you stay in bed. Yeah, I just don't get up. Contemplating life and things. Yeah, and like I'll look. At, I do I'll this? look at and see if I missed any messages because sometimes. Like, oh, you start you start messing with your phone already. Yeah, because sometimes I'll be have like talking to somebody and I've fallen asleep or something. That happens. Mm-hmm. I fall asleep mid conversation all the time. All right. <laughs> and you think you think ten to four is a good time to respond? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Okay, good. Okay, I look so at sure. it and then I make sure it says unread so that later in the day I have accidentally responded that early and then I feel really bad because mm-hmm. I'm like they're not awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More than likely, no. Yeah. No, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then I have a 415 one. Or 410 is you better be out of bed. 415 okay, so is you you need to be making coffee. You need to be like, you know. You yeah. really got to be yeah. out of bed. Okay. Right, right, right. Then I have a 431, which is like, it's time to panic if you're not out of the shower and like doing your makeup at this point. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Now, yeah. now the 415. Yeah. Is there ever a time that you're still in bed when that one goes off? Um... Sometimes, yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess okay. sometimes, and then I'm I panic because the 415 one is like panic, like you need to be up. All right, you know? okay, yeah. So, mm-hmm. so I feel like, yeah, you know, in my expertise of doing this, I have too many alarms. No, no, <laughs> no. I don't take them seriously. <laughs> well, there's, there is there is that probably. I th- I think you probably don't actually panic. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah. so maybe mm-hmm. you take the 410 one. Yeah. Back that one up to to four, four o'clock. Yeah. So then four o'clock is the you better be out of bed. Yeah. Yeah. Now you just bought yourself ten minutes throughout the day. Yeah. Throughout the morning, mm-hmm. and then you're you're now you're you're moving all your alarms yeah. up. So your four twenty now is your makeup one. Yeah. You know, some kind of weird time warp happens when I go from when I get my clothes and stuff, and then go upstairs to make coffee. Like twenty yeah. minutes goes by, and I have no idea how. <laughs> well, there's, there's no alarm there. There is no alarm there, there's, yeah. So there's nothing after 4.30, right? No, there is. There's the 4.50 one that says you better be in the you car. You better leave? Yeah, yeah, you better be in, like, it says leave, yes. Has, <laughs> has that ever caused you to leave at that time? Because <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, yeah. like I, I think that's a great alarm for you, for the way that you work life. Right, yeah. yeah. I think these are all good things, but I think you also... May find yourself um, <laughs> getting used to them, yeah, and, just, and they just aren't a thing anymore. They're just not a thing. I like dismiss them. Yes. yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so when when 4:50 comes, yeah, and you're you're still doing your makeup or pouring your coffee or patting right. the dog, whatever right. is happening at that time, <laughs> it's oh, oh no 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 no. We never pat the dog in the morning. I never leave. Oh, if I pat okay. the dog in the morning, I'm still going to be there patting. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> I love it when they I, sound hollow when you pat them. I I feel like like we should do and you know I mean to an extent mm-hmm. we should do a, a day in the life of videos. <laughs> I, okay, I I because I would love to know what goes on from ten to four. Yeah, all the way until ten to five. Mm-hmm. And then I'm really interested between ten to five and five when you really leave the house. <laughs> Like, right. like, like what goes on there yeah. when your alarm says it's time to be in the car and you go, yeah. pshaw, <laughs> time to be in the uh, car. Yeah. I still have 20 minutes. Get out of here. <laughs> so I, I'm just, I, I'd like to know what, what happens there. Yeah. Cause, cause for me, mm-hmm. every moment yeah. is taken in the morning. Yeah. So, so I get up. Let's say a non A day, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So alarm goes off at four ten. Yeah. Hits news four twenty. Hits news four thirty. Is the you better get up? Here we go. Oh, you're not even getting out of bed till four thirty. Yes. So then I get out of bed. I shave. 
mm-hmm. brush my teeth, yeah, turn the shower on, go get ready for the shower, uh huh, naked. So and then uh, <laughs> I didn't need to know that. I know, I know. No one, no one needed. To no, know. no, I know. No. But I just did it to make you uncomfortable. I assume that you put um, on a scuba suit. Yeah, no, I just, and, I just yeah. did it to, to bother you. <laughs> um, and then, uh, then I, I get in the shower, do all the shower things. Yeah. Come out, and I feel like I'm, I'm cooking along. Uh-huh. If it's between four forty eight and four fifty one. Okay. Then I'm, I'm in good shape. If it's after four fifty one, I'm, I'm running behind. But so you don't make coffee at home. No. There's no time. There's no time for coffee. <laughs> yeah. Coffee happens here. No, coffee does not happen here. Coffee happens at home. <laughs> but we've talked about this. Yeah. Coffee shouldn't take more than that. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it's the blending and the the this and the that and the putting the stuff in and the right right. Yeah. It's a big pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but irregardless. Yeah. It. It doesn't take up a whole morning. Like No. So but my point is is now four fifty one, now I'm in the kitchen dressed. Yeah. Taking my pills at four fifty four. Oh. All so right. it's I mean this is this is a fast you live moving. Way closer thing. than I do. <laughs> I live eight minutes away. I mean <laughs> I understand because I used to live on this side of town, so I know it's a two minute drive, but <laughs> this side <laughs> yeah. of the town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, are, are you under the impression that you only get here eight minutes after I do? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So, but 454 pills. Yeah. Bag out the door, pulling out of my thing at 456, and then I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Sure, sure. So mm-hmm. I'm just saying there are no. S- it's not a competition. I'm just pointing out there are no seconds for anything. Yeah. Like, there's no contemplating. There's no looking at my phone. Yeah. I don't... If somebody's emailed me or texted me... Yeah. They're not... I'm not finding out about it until I get to work. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. It's, sure. It's, it's, yeah. There's, there's you, none of that Wait, wait till company time for that. Yeah, for that's, sure. That's, <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, it's all company time. <laughs> that makes total as, sense. As of a year ago, it's all company time. Uh, uh, but it's yeah, I don't have time for shenanigans. I yeah. mean, you know, it's if I pick up my phone and I feel that it's vibrating, that means a text came in after I went to sleep, so I might look at that just to make sure no one died. You know, it co- but, wait, it vibrate vibrates constantly until you pick it up. Did you get a text? I think every minute it just goes. Oh, that's yeah. awful! Why would you do that? Well, you don't hear it. It's just, it's just, you just feel it. Oh, like you that would, would wake you'd me. You'd never right hear up. it. No, no yeah. you'll never hear it. Oh, you just pick it up, and maybe it just does it when I pick it up. I don't know. I don't really know how technology works. Oh, yeah. gross! What? <laughs> There's so many more gross things. I no, think oh, okay. Yeah, My phone's. I, I don't think it makes anything when I get. No. I don't. Doesn't do anything when you get a text. I don't think so. No. Does it? No. Maybe it does. I don't know. Does how, would, it? how would you know? You probably have my watch seven hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> notifications on your phone. So, I have one hundred and thirty nine thousand yeah. emails. Yeah, that's so just that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Worry about me not checking I would, my email. I would not email yeah. me if you want me to get a viewer response. You're going to yeah. need to text. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah. and don't say it to you. Don't don't say it to you. Say it's got to be in writing. Whatever they're trying to get in touch with oh, you about. Oh, if you, yes, yes if yes. you want something accomplished yes. and you want me to remember it, mm-hmm. I'm going to need it in writing. Need it in writing. <laughs> and, but see, when someone says to me in writing, I think they need an email. So I would send them an email. Oh, yeah. But, an email's but, yeah. fine. Not if you have 150,000 unread emails. This I know, is work, in a work, work stuff. capacity. I know, I know, but in a personal in capacity. In a personal, I need yes. it in a text. <laughs> right now, there's, there's somewhere in your email, yeah. a, a friend of yours has asked you for help. And now, oh. now they're in the quicksand. They're done. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I hope you're proud. Oh. <laughs> yep, I hope you're happy. It's ever a check of sports. It's brought to us by Nitco. Visit nitco.com today and find out how you can save when you bundle your phone, your internet, and your television all in one place. When it comes to home entertainment, you want the best internet, TV, and voice that work with your lifestyle. That's why you need Nitco. They're in your neighborhood. They live and work in the camp. One goal, bring their customers outstanding service and customer support for the best in speed and reliability. Check out Nitco services available to you. You could qualify for up to $30 off your monthly bill by visiting nitco.com ACP. To sign up for the best in home entertainment, call 
800-256-7101 or visit nitco.com. 97.7 The Q. Yes, it is The Q and 98 Gold. Time for a look at sports. Frank is here. Good morning, sir. How are you? Hey, uh, blessed to be up. Likewise, sir. And as far as waking up, I do want to answer the poll question from yesterday. Put a bow on it as we are doing here on this Tuesday. It seems that, Steve, nine out of ten times, Mm -hmm. I will wake up before the alarm is to wake me up. Okay. Normally, it seems like, and I'll give an example. Uh, I, I said I, recently I wake up, uh, or at least I set the alarm for four in the morning to do the sports. Well, it seems that on average, we'll call it about 3.40 to 3.45. That's when I wake up because I know I have something to wake up. Uh, and it seems that seven days a week, I always have something to wake up for. But it seems that whenever I have something that I'm waking up for in the morning, I will awake before the alarm, the the setted alarm is supposed to wake me up. Okay, so it's interesting. So you get up at four to do the sports. Uh, Around what time do you usually go to bed? Well, that depends. I'll go to bed maybe about 11, try to get five hours of sleep. I actually last night went to bed a little after 11 because I was watching MLB Extra Innings. I did watch the White Sox last night. I watched. I checked out their game with the Angels. More on that in a moment. But I was watching the end of the Nationals-Mariners game. It was a light MLB slate as it normally is on Monday. So after that game, that's when I went to bed. That was maybe about 11-20, oh, 11-30-ish. So, well, then will you nap during the day or are you just usually doing about five hours of sleep? I will. I will. I will. I do. I do, if possible, try to make up for sometimes the sleep that I should be getting right. with naps. And naps do work. So I yeah. will take naps uh, at various periods during the day. And it does work. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, we had a story earlier, that, you know, taking naps you get, uh, helps your brain. So, so it there does. You go. I yeah. think it does. It helps my yeah. brain. Yeah, absolutely. Sports also brought to us by Hillcrest Dental Center, where Dr. Drone and Dr. Ehlers say, keep on smiling. Frank, give us our sports. A pleasant good Tuesday. Here's your sports. I'm Frank Sprinkle. Let's start with Monday's MLB. The White Sox bullpen met with ninth inning control issues in the first of a seven-game two-city California road swing. With Anaheim the first stop, the Los Angeles Angels take the opener of this four-game set over the White Sox, walking off victorious 2-1. That was the final. Reynaldo Lopez took the mound uh, in that decisive ninth inning, yielding a leadoff walk to Mike Trout, left the Aaron Bummer, then entered walking Shohei Otani. Both Trout and Otani would pull off a double steal moving the second and third. Then with one out, Angels first baseman Mike Moustakis up. Bummer tossed a wild pitch. That hot pass catcher Yasmani Grandel scoring Trout as the game-winning tally. Lopez, who allowed Trout to reach base, does take the loss. Luis Robert Jr. continues to shine in the White Sox lineup, going yard for his 22nd time this season, a first-inning solo home run. Robert has now gone deep four times over the last three games. Otani leads the majors in both home runs and RBIs. He crushed home run number 26 of 2023. That occurred in the fourth. It was a solo shot. White Sox with just three hits in the series opener, striking out 12 times, 10 Ks by Angel Southpaw starter Reed Detmers. A no decision over seven innings for him. Also a no decision for Dylan C. Striking out 10 Angels, working six innings. Like the White Sox, the Angels line up whiffing a total of 12 times. Tuesday brings the second game of four White Sox and Angels with the Angels sending Otani to the hill. We'll have it on both Bear Country, 104.5 FM and 1560 AM, as well as 98 Gold, pregame 8 p.m. Central, first pitch 8.30 p.m. Central. Back to Luis Robert Jr., named Monday AL Player of the Week. A 444 average and a 1.111 slugging percentage over the span. White Sox on Monday recalling outfielder Adam Hazley from AAA Charlotte while optioning back to AA Birmingham rookie infielder Jose Rodriguez. Back stateside after splitting the two games in London with the St. Louis Cardinals over this past weekend. The Cubs open up a six-game Wrigley Field homestand Tuesday. The Philadelphia Phillies, the first task, start of a three-game series. College Baseball World Series, it was winner-take-all game three in Omaha on Monday. And it favored LSU champion in 2023 in complete command of Florida, 18-4, claiming the title two games to one. This after LSU ended up on the run side of history in game two on Sunday, giving up 24 total runs. LSU getting four hits each from Dylan Cruz, Tommy White, and Braden Jobert. White and Jobert knocked in three runs apiece in all LSU bats, producing 24 total hits after their women's basketball team captured the national title on the hardwood in early April. LSU picks up 
their seventh all-time College World Series crown, their first since 2009. To the NHL with one day to go before the Blackhawks select number one in the draft with Canadian junior center Connor Bedard, the most likely pick. The team did make a trade Monday with the Boston Bruins in a four-player deal. The Blackhawks pick up left winger Taylor Hall, the top pick in the 2010 draft by the Edmonton Oilers, plus the 2018 Hart Trophy winner playing for the New Jersey Devils that season. Blackhawks also acquiring another left winger, Nick Foligno, off to Boston, a pair of defensemen Ian Mitchell and Alec Regula. And the, and the NHL out with their 2022-23 season awards Monday, the Hart Trophy goes to Edmonton Oilers center Connor McDavid, symbolic of the league MVP. Third time in his career, McDavid becomes a recipient of this honor. And that's a look at your sports for this Tuesday. I'm Frank Sprinkle. Thank you, sir. Have yourself a fantastic Tuesday. Likewise, make the Tuesday great. Make the Tuesday bless. There you go. That's a look at sports brought to us by our friends over at NITCO as well as Hillcrest Dental Center. All righty, let's play Find the Big Deal with Straga Van Til. Looking for the price today on boneless whole, whole pork loin in cryovac bag. Boneless whole pork loin in a cryovac bag. 219-866-4104. Find me the price on the boneless whole pork loin. You'll be entered in for a chance to win that $50 gift card from Straga Van Til and Tuivil. Good luck. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting a Teenager. Learning the lingo. GOAT, G-O-A-T, acronym, stands for greatest of all time. As in spaghetti sandwiches for dinner? They're my fave. Dad, you're the GOAT. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. Staples has everything you need to help run your small business. Shipping supplies and services to help move orders out the door. Print marketing services so you can print signs, banners, and presentations fast. And now during Staples Small Business Deal Days, you save 50% when you buy any combination of five or more boxes, mailers, and shipping tubes. Plus, find new deals for small business in-store every week. Keep your business running right and safe at Staples. Offer valid in-store online order pickup and Instacart. Exclusions apply. Not valid in Concord, New Hampshire location. Prices may vary. N71. You could throw your flip-flop at a bug. Ew, a bug, get it. But the chances of actually hitting it... Oh, over there! ...are statistically... Yeah, it's still alive. Unlikely. Good thing nature's got your back. Stem bug killers combine powerful active ingredients found in plants, like lemongrass and geraniol, and scientifically engineer them into effective bug-fighting formulas, safe for use as directed around people, pets, and throughout the home. Stem. Rooted in nature. Optimized by science. At the Home Depot, we have laundry appliances that just fit. From the space you have, to the features you want, to the savings you need. Like a new GE Profile Ultra Fast Combo Laundry Machine that can wash and dry a large load in about two hours. Without you ever having to transfer the load over. Get special buy savings like the GE Profile Ultra Fast Combo Laundry Machine. Plus an extra $100 off. Select laundry sets in store. Rob Morrow coming to you on Tuiville with Steve Tui and Christy Martin. Hi, what can I do for you? You gotta ask yourself one question. Oh yeah, what's that? Do I feel lucky? Say what? Well, do you punk? It is your lucky day because today is National Bingo Day. Bingo! Bingo what bingo? Bingo! Celebrate National Bingo Day by finding a local bingo hall for a day of games. Happy National Bingo Day. Bingo! Showtime! Welcome to Jimmy Mills, Steve Christie with you here. Happy Bingo Day. Bingo! No, not as funny the second time around. No, uh, no, mm, no, mm, no, mm, no. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Listen, <laughs> when, when I find something that makes people laugh, I'm going to do it over and over yeah. and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier today, no, you know what it was. I said, I said that the listener was the big winner, and that made you laugh. That's that, what made me laugh. Yeah, you're like, oh, they win! Uh, boy, did they win! Uh, portion of the show this morning brought to us by ninety five Bravo LLC dot com. Visit ninety five Bravo in person, one ten South Main Street in Otterbin. There, your gun shop in Otterbin for all your gun needs. Uh, maybe uh, you're looking for a custom holster. Andrew will take care of you. You need a custom gun. You can do that as well. Uh, be sure to like 95 Bravo on Facebook. Okay, Steve, how many times is that going to happen today? Uh, 
Also want to mention our friends over at the Fountain Stone Theater for the free family film festival going on every Thursday through the summertime this Thursday. Uh, doors open at 10.30. I'm sorry, doors open at 10. The movie's at 10.30. It is... Uh, Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank. It's sponsored by Indiana Farm Bureau, Dave Galt, and Joe Gudeman. So uh, find out more at FountainStoneTheaters.com. You can also find out all their movie times there and all the upcoming movies, all kinds of good stuff there at Fountainstone Theaters. Uh, be sure to like them on Facebook as well. Uh, this is weird to me. Okay. A fan threw, mom's, threw her mom's ashes on stage during a pink concert. Maybe that's what she wanted. No? I why? I don't know. I mean, it just seems. I get like that. There's certain places that you'd want your your ashes mm-hmm. strewn, spewn, thrown, tossed. I don't know. Scattered. Spe- scattered. Scattered ashes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like on a beach or something like that, or yeah. in a special place to you. Yeah. And maybe her mom really liked pink. I don't know. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fans throwing things on stage during concerts may have reached the apex during Pink's show at Hyde Park in London the other day. During uh, Just Like a Pill, a woman threw her mom's ashes on stage. Uh, luckily, the ashes weren't loose or in an urn or anything. They were in a sealed plastic bag. Uh, they didn't hit Pink, thankfully. She picked them up and said, quote, wait, this is your mom? I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, but she bent down and gently placed them out of the way in front of the speaker, then continued on with her song. All right. That that's, that's all we get out of the story? <laughs> that's that's the big I threw my ash my mom's ashes up on the pink stage. That's all we get? I no guess. one interviewed this woman as to why? What was your purpose in doing this? Was right. your mom a big pink fan? Did she like just like going to concerts there? Are know. you just a weirdo? Was she an like maybe an op- opioid addict because she did it during just like a pill? <laughs> oh, see? These are all the things we need to know. I actually, uh, when I saw the headline, was worried more about pink because oh. could you imagine you're just up there, you know, uh, come in out say. <laughs> What is this all over she, me? Oh, she said it was in a baggie. Right? A baggie can't open? Oh, I guess it could. I mean, you're throwing it. Yeah. I mean, I've had a baggie open in the fridge just by putting it in there too harshly. Yeah. I mean, I would figure out who the bag was made by because, I mean, I think this is a <laughs> this is an opera marketing opportunity. Because <laughs> he's got their commercial going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sealed I mean, so tight it'll even hold your mom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's. I mean, to figure out who manufactured sure. this bag because there, there you go. <laughs> there is an opportunity there. <laughs> yes, there is. Uh, let's see. Uh, a new study says that people are more likely to drink when they're happy than when they're feeling down. All right. So that's good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Drink when you're happy. I, I drink when I'm happy. I drink when I'm sad. I okay. Just, you know, just sometimes you just drink. You know, <laughs> sometimes it's just there. It's just right. something, you just have have yourself a cocktail. You All know, right. It's, sure. I rarely have a cocktail. It's more just a beer or two or, and like I said before, enough to make things look blurry. Yeah. Um, I don't understand why. I like things with an umbrella. Why can't they give you an umbrella when you order a drink out? I think I'm going to start carrying an umbrella with me. <laughs> In case I want to drink and I just want it to be jaunty. Uh, <laughs> be way uh, more fun. When they bring it to me, I'm just going to pop an umbrella in there. <laughs> I mean, are you are you ordering drinks like on the Love Boat in 1977? Well, yeah, maybe. What kind of drinks or like should the little come with swords? Umbrella? The little swords. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. I'm I'm aware of them. I mean, I listen. I, I was once a nine-year-old boy. That's just yeah. a toy to me. Yeah. You know? yeah. Swords, umbrellas. I don't yeah. know if we're, we're drinking, fighting, or we're looking for rain. Right. <laughs> the umbrellas and drinks are not for the rain. They're to block you from the sun. That's for your oh. beach umbrella. Yeah. Oh. Because they're beachy drinks. They're so adorable. They're not rain drinks. Like, how do they work, the little umbrellas? They're so cute. <laughs> it's amazing to me that. You can buy 12 umbrellas for a dollar. Sure. <laughs> sure. Um, I, do you order drinks that should have umbrellas in them? No. Oh, okay. I don't know. What drink should have an umbrella? I don't know. Things that are like fruity and beachy and, you know, 
I mean, it just depends oh, on what you're ordering. I think any drink could have an umbrella. I'm just going to bring one with me from now on. And when, the, when they bring it, I'm just going to pop the umbrella in and see what kind of reactions right. I get. <laughs> so, sounds fun. It'll be so much more fun. Like uh, the other sure. night, I thought about ordering a Bloody Mary because, you know, it comes with the salad, you know? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's got a couple of courses on there. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But you didn't? No. I did not. Did you no. get a cocktail? No, uh, I didn't get any, but I, I thought about it because I wanted the salad that came with it, you know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I just thought maybe you'd, you know, you, you could get like ask a for tomato, an umbrella. You get celery. I, they don't have umbrellas. Well, you say they. It depends Eddie, on where you go. I don't think anywhere has umbrellas. I think I'm going to have to carry it with me. <laughs> But I'm fine with that because I carry are you going, everything else. Are you going to wash them? Are you going to get <laughs> reusable ones? Are you going to be mm. like, is, they're wooden. So, I mean, you're just going to toss it afterwards, right? You're not going to. It's gonna like a toothpick, say, right? So I can yeah. reuse it. So you're just going to toss it afterwards, right? You're no. not going to. I'm going to keep it. So you're just going to get rid of it because it's been <laughs> in, in alcohol and things. And oh. yeah, it's, yeah. Well, where do you, do you like put it into the fruit or where, where does one put the umbrella? I don't know. I need a bartender I, I, to tell me. Okay. Where does it go? That's what it, the sword is for, though, is for the fruit. Oh. Yeah. So where does the umbrella pick to? I think it's just decoration. Oh. Yeah. I think it's so just there. It has there to go for... somewhere, right? You just pull it out, and then I want to keep the umbrella in there for fun. Right, but eventually <laughs> you have to give the glass back to the bar. Oh. So so I would just leave it in the glass. Right. And, and then, then I'll be like, ah, 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 the umbrella, she is mine. <laughs> You could, how many are, how, what did you say? They're like five for a dollar? You can get like 12 for a dollar. <laughs> okay. Okay. Every time you run out, come see me. I'll just give you another dollar. Okay. Just, just <laughs> I, I, I mean, there's a reputation to be had here. You know that. Is, is that Chrissy Martin from the radio? She, I, I saw her in the bathroom washing off her toothpick. <laughs> Reusing toothpicks. I'm trying to think, it is a toothpick, right? It's, I think it's a toothpick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Mm-hmm. How much more fun would every drink be if it just had an umbrella in it? I'm even like Diet Coke. I'm not. If it has saying, an umbrella, fun. <laughs> I'm not against the umbrella. I'm just saying you're assuming that they don't have them. You just might not be ordering the right drinks for them. I Maybe I guess. I mean, they they usually come with like some kind of fruity, beachy type drink. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I think every drink could be a beachy drink. You know? Sure. Yeah. No, I. <laughs> if I'm, I think about the beach while I'm, I'm drinking it, give, give me a second. I'm going to step out of the circle. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's, this hamster wheel has to stop for a second. I mean, twelve uh, thirty uh, no, no, on no. a Tuesday, I stick an umbrella it's, it's, in the Diet Coke, and I, suddenly I, I'm I, there. No, no, I'm, I'm full. I understand. I get it. I, I, can someone put a stick in the merry-go-round? I got to oh, go for no. a second. Yeah, right, it's fine. It. Uh, uh, according to a recent poll, some of the best chit-chat topics include hobbies, current events, the weather, and what drinks to put umbrellas in which is odd <laughs> that it was there it was right oh, there oh that's so funny yeah, how would we lead to that <laughs> uh let's see uh 44 percent uh people think uh hobbies are a good uh, conversation starter like hey what's your hobby what's your hobby yeah so yeah people would say to me what's your hobby i don't mm-hmm. have one and they would go what's yours and, and chrissy would go well i play the accordion <laughs> I, I, I star in plays uh <laughs> I, I i help out with my my daughter's plays that they're assistant directors in um i have a a kitchen farm mm-hmm. uh, oh, yeah. i mm-hmm. i i have a menagerie of baby rats uh, uh, <laughs> well those and, are my daughters and, and those are really mine and that's, and that's just this week yeah uh, <laughs> i also rode about five miles on my bike yeah. So sure. you're a bike rider too as a hobby. Yeah. 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 All sure. right. Yeah. Way, way yeah. to go. <laughs> uh, let's see some other things that are good topics. Current events. I don't find current events to be a good topic for conversation ever. I I have to be honest. I I have hmm. no. I have almost no interest in them. And it depends. Um, I think on what it is. Usually, somewhere along the way, it gets into politics, and I'm yeah. just like, Ugh. well, for whatever reason, the submersible thing has really captured my interest. Yeah, I don't know why, but not to talk about. There's not much to talk about. Oh no, we were talking about it at dinner the other night with the children. They yeah. all had opinions and thoughts, and yeah, we had a jaunty conversation about it. <laughs> was, was 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 jaunty on your word of the day toilet paper today? I like John D. I, no, no, but I think that's the third time today. We're only at no. seven thirty this morning. All right, we had a <laughs> give me a thesaurus. There's only so many words, Steve, and I'm using like 
I don't even know how many in the morning. There's always so many words in the world. <laughs> I'm more amused by the idea that you would have word of the day toilet paper. <laughs> no, I don't have word of the day. I do. Uh, well, you know what? It's in my email, but I used to get a word of the day email. Uh huh. Yeah, but I haven't checked my email in <laughs> no, <this is laughs> a very long time. 150,000 words in there. Yes. We had a jolly conversation. There you go. A jolly conversation. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, I, I get it that my point was... It's it's good for about one conversation, the the submersible thing. Like oh. yeah. You could share yeah. your opinions and you could have it with different groups of people. Like mm-hmm. you had it with your family. You and sure. I have had it. You know, yeah. it's I I've had it with Cheryl, I've had it with a couple of different people, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like you can only do it so much and you're only because we don't know much. We just go, Oh, you yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. You did. Like I can and yeah, Titanic and yeah. Yeah. James yeah. Cameron, yeah. But uh, well, good. I don't even know the mm. song, but mm. yeah. King of the World. Yeah, uh, that's it. Sure. And then but then done. there's this, all this other stuff about like, you know, company and the structure and the problems. and Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, don't put a thing in the water if they say, this is probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, 43% of people agree with you that current events are a good topic to, uh, to chit chat about. Um, forty-one percent say travel is is good. Uh, thirty-nine percent say the weather. Chrissy would not be in that grouping. It just bores me. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's how I feel about most most current events. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, there are lots of times that people will talk to me about current events, mm-hmm. and and in my head, I'm just going, oh, I don't care. Yeah, don't you find a way to yeah. a segue to get out of it? Where can I put a wedge in this conversation? <laughs> um, no, I just usually go, uh, yeah, uh-huh. I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, okay. I, just, I yeah. just usually just kind of make right. a, a mm-hmm. noise of mm-hmm. some kind. And then, and then <laughs> what is is that my phone? I think that I, this, I got to go. I got to, I got to, have you ever, I got to, do you know if, it, I'll see you later. Yeah, just, you just say <laughs> okay, things as, sure. yeah, until you're out the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, showbiz or entertainment, 39% of people like to talk about that as a uh, conversation starter. You know, they can bring up some kind of showbiz sure. thing. Sure. Like, like later today, somebody would be like, hey, did you hear someone threw their mom at pink? And then that yeah. leads to, what? Oh, what? Yeah. They picked up their whole mom? And, did it, and then it's the ashes, and then you talk about oh. Ziploc bags, and was it Ziploc, or was it, you know, mm. generic, or right. the dollar store? Or, you know, sure. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, work or school, people can chit-chat about that as well. So uh, talk about their work, talk about their school, talk about what they got going on in their day. Easy uh, chit-chat conversation starters. Mm-hmm. Those are all good things, yeah. too. Yep. Uh, but that leads us to today's 10 things. Those are all good things to talk about, Chrissy Martin. Here are 10 terrible chit-chat topic starters. All right. Yeah, you don't want to use these at your next party. Okay. Okay. Uh, number 10, mailbox or door slot? Yeah. yeah it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it doesn't go anywhere. It's, 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 yeah. Uh, no, I think it's a good it's yeah. a good conundrum. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, <laughs> all right. So, yeah. uh, um, number nine, hiccup cures. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, right on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, number eight, Golden Girls. You most want to watch shower. Oh no, no. Okay, okay. okay. Right. We oh, found one shoot. that Chrissy found was bad. <laughs> the okay. microphone. I was like, I, I just, <laughs> no, I was starting to no, wonder no. If, if all the bad topics Chrissy liked. No, yeah. no, yeah. You know that no. one. Uh, uh, number seven, prison sounds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> unsure on that one. We're unsure on that one. Uh, number six, least favorite ethnicity. Oh, yeah, yeah no, no, I don't like that no, at all. No, no that's, that's terrible. Nice. No, that's not a good one, no. Uh, number five, Band-Aids you found in the public pool. Ugh. No yeah, good? Yeah, yeah, no. no. I mean... Collection? I can t- yeah. I can chime in, but... Yeah, yeah but, but you're not going <laughs> to no, enjoy it. No. no. Uh, number four, Invasive Snails. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you like that one, okay. <laughs> you would be okay if there was a snail in you? Invasive? No, like different species of like what kinds oh, of snails just different and like what? Yeah, gotcha. what's okay. their what's their? All right. Yeah, all mm-hmm. this stuff about sure. them. Yeah, yep. let's look it up. Let's dive in. Let's, let's get in there. <laughs> all right. Uh, number three, the longest thing you ever pulled from your nose. Yep, totally had that conversation <laughs> last week. <laughs> Never in my life have I had that conversation. Yeah. Never. 
Mm-hmm. In my it wasn't life. even out of my nose. It was out of somebody else's oh, nose. Oh, this is a discussion <laughs> about someone else's nose pulled something yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Uh, number two, crypto. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. No. No. Oh, okay. Never once had a conversation with anyone about crypto. The nose and the crypto were in the same day. <laughs> same person? No. All right. All right. <laughs> and uh, the number one, what I thought were 10 terrible chit chat topics until uh-huh. Chrissy yeah. chimed in and likes about half of them. Uh, things my dog threw up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, so many things. But half of those are the <laughs> topics that Chrissy would bring up if she was out with you. Yeah. <laughs> Tuiville. He says kind of strange. Yeah, strange, but it's fun. <laughs> With Steve Tui and Chrissy Martin. Welcome back to Tuiville. Steve and Chrissy with you here hanging out on a Super Duper Tuesday. Hope your day is off to a good start, portions of which this morning are brought to us by another season in DeMont. Need to get for any reason, whatever it is, you should head to another season. They've got great stuff for everybody uh, that you could possibly want to get a gift for. Uh, they've got fun stuff. Uh, for uh, for your pet lovers, they've got fun uh, little signs for all the different uh, local uh, local towns. You got uh, uh, like uh, you know dreams are made in Demont, and you know uh, make memories in Rensselaer, things like that. So all kinds of cool stuff there. At another season, visit another season floral dot com. Like them on Facebook. Follow on Instagram. Uh, by the way, uh, I always forget to mention it, but uh, uh, we have an Instagram page now. So go follow us on uh, Instagram. You can go to the Q's Facebook page and see there's a QR code to go to our Instagram page. So um, I I started it and then mm-hmm. didn't say anything to anybody. Oh, and, yeah. And, and after about a month, I looked and I'm like, we only have one follower. So I should probably like tell people <laughs> yeah. about it. It makes it much harder for the followers to grow. When you right. don't tell anyone that you have it, that's, that's what I'm learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's tough. marketing. You know, mm-hmm. I'm learning. I'm learning all these mm-hmm. things. You know, uh, but I kept posting. <laughs> See, I do these videos almost every day, and mm-hmm. I kept posting all my videos and uh, the, on Instagram for no reason. Like there was, it was just for me, just for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> uh, I want to mention uh, portion of the show this morning also brought to us by brought to us by Shady Hill Speedway. Visit shadyhillspeedway.com. This weekend is the 23rd annual Firecracker 50 uh, 50 modifieds, Rebel Late models, and bombers. Find out more at shadyhillspeedway.com. Now I don't say this disparagingly, Chrissy Martin, but I could see you doing this. Okay. I could see this happening to you. Hmm. A janitor destroyed decades of research when he unplugged a freezer because its beeping was annoying. It was bothering him. Oh. Yeah. No, I no. wouldn't do that. I'm no. great at tuning out. No. Yeah. I'm so good at tuning okay, out. Okay. So, okay. Maybe Nothing not the beeping. <laughs> maybe not the beeping, but if there was a flashing red light on it. Then it would bother me. Yeah. Yes. Da, da, yes. Da, da, da. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. That I could see, let's say there was a flashing red light on this said uh, research Can I see bridge, it? If I can you know. see it, then mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lab in upstate New York called the Rensselaer Polytonic Institute. Oh. Not the Rensselaer here, the Rensselaer there. Right. There's a Rensselaer New York. They're, yes. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. not... They're not twins. They're sisters. Yes. Sister cities. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, they're twins like yeah. Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know. It's, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so this is the New York Rensselaer Polytech, you know, Polytechnic Institute, mm-hmm. not the Indiana Rensselaer. Uh, they're suing a cleaning company because three years ago, a janitor who was working there ruined decades worth of research. The lab had a super cold freezer holding cell culture, samples, and other research elements. The freezer made a beeping sound, and there were signs explaining that this is a normal uh, thing and how it could be muted. Oh, my gosh. I hope Henrietta Lacks wasn't in there. <laughs> I I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need some more help. Uh, she, Henry, Henry, they, Henry had a lax? Hen, Henrietta Lacks? You oh, don't Henrietta know? Yeah, Lacks. Hen, Henrietta okay. Lacks. You don't right. know who I, she is? I don't know. No, no. she, um, they, I want to say she had some kind of cancer and they saved her cells and she like lives, I mean, her cells live on, you know, she died in the 50s, I think, I want to say. But her cells are just somewhere. Yeah, her cells are, are continuing to live on. Are they though? Yeah, I listened to an audio book about it, and oh. I'm, I wish I had more information. I listened to it. I listened to it. I oh. just don't remember. Oh. All right. Well. I listened to a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Well, 
Let us know when you get some more info, and we'll we'll, sure. we'll get well, back to it. I believe we'll she's circle, probably we'll circle around. You know, she was probably in a you know in a in a, in a fridge yeah. or a freezer or yeah. something. Don't they have to keep those on ice? I feel like. I, <laughs> I haven't done as much studying as you would think about cryogenics. Okay, all and, right. And, well. and cells and, and cells and things. Mm-hmm. I, I They've mean, made lots of medical breakthroughs with her cells, studying yeah. them. Mm-hmm. No, I, I mean, I know to the average person, they might see me and go, probably has his doctorate. But yeah. but it turns out I don't. No? Yeah, no, okay. no, not all this right. time. Well, yeah. I hope it wasn't the one Henrietta was in, is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Uh, well, uh, apparently the janitor found the beeping sound of the freezer uh, annoying, and he just unplugged it, which caused the temperature to slowly rise from minus 112 degrees uh, Fahrenheit to minus 25.6 degrees, enough to wipe out 25 years of research. Wow. In the lawsuit, the lab says it caused more than a million dollars in damage. The cleaning company has not commented. Oh my gosh. So, He'll never work again. He'll be like, I haven't worked since the incident. Right. <laughs> <laughs> since I unplugged that thing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's not good. It's, uh, I'm going to say um, if you're doing some work around a place, mm-hmm. especially a research lab, yeah, maybe ask before you unplug something. Like, right. We don't I'm, know what it's hooked up to, who could be. What if it's someone's heartbeat that's beeping? That's right. bothering Who's you. Who's in charge of showing him what to do? Maybe we do a better job of that. Well, <laughs> Whatever this, you do, do not unplug this refrigerator. Right. You might want to have a big sign that says, yeah. do not. Million dollars worth of problems if you unplug this. Yeah. 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 I yeah. mean, if we are assaulting blame, we need yes. to figure out who showed him what. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Plug your vacuum in somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. This yep. is not the no. place for it. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, well, we heard earlier today about uh, someone uh, throwing their mom's ashes up on a uh, uh, stage uh, where Pink was performing. Mm-hmm. Here's some other unusual funeral requests that uh, celebrities have had. Okay. I don't know who put this list together and why. But they did. So Tupac, his ashes were smoked by members of his former group. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, they were. I don't think you can do that. Smoking can you... Tupac. Oh, oh, I don't think you can do that. I think well, they did. Are they sure it was him? Because there, there's some speculation that maybe he didn't die. Mm. Like there's some conspiracy theories. Uh, they might be hanging out with Elvis and Andy Kaufman somewhere. <laughs> maybe. That's, 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 <laughs> I mean, are they sure? I don't. I don't know that they. You know. Did DNA before they wrapped him up in their blunt? Can, you know, oh, but, oh. Yeah. can you get DNA on ashes? I don't. Oh, oh, Ooh, I just were, gave myself the heebie-jeebies. That's now the second time, just in this segment, you've asked me for information <laughs> <laughs> as though I'm a doctor. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I, I appreciate the confidence that you have in me and my knowledge. I'm just curious. Yeah, but I have none. I'm a curious uh, person. No, no, I understand. Yeah, I just it's not anything I can possibly help with. Uh, Hunter S. Thompson, he was the author of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, Johnny Depp honored his request to have his ashes fired from a cannon. No, fun. Yeah. 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 Just wanted him shot out, I guess, across the desert, I suppose. Um, Fred Bauer, the inventor of Pringles. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Please tell me they wanted him pressed into a Pringle. He had his ashes buried in a Pringles can. Oh. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. So, So he was cremated, put the ashes in his can, and then buried the can. Yep. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, yeah. Uh, That'll never biodegrade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. So, but if you're digging somewhere and you happen to come across a Pringles oh, can with ashes in it, don't just dump them out. It might be the <laughs> so creator weird. of Pringles. Uh, Carrie Fisher. Um, stupid <laughs> mess. I see you over there fighting with it. <laughs> Done. Did you get it? I think I might have. I hit it, and then I saw it crawling around on my keyboard, and I, I didn't want to slap the keyboard because I was afraid I'd hit buttons and things <laughs> would happen. So, yeah, I think there's the dead one. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, what? It's just a dead bug. You, it's a bug carcass. It's, it's right. What? Yeah. <laughs> you killed one yesterday, murderer. I know, and I felt so bad. Yeah, bug murderer. Oh. Uh uh, Ace got one yesterday. You know how I said he always goes after it and doesn't catch it? Yeah. I think he got one yesterday and was dis- disturbed by it. Oh. And, like, I think he may have gotten it in his mouth and then just let it go, and it was just on the ground stunned, and he ran away. He was like, 
I don't know what just happened, but I think I got one. I don't know what. I know <laughs> that was weird. He just had a look on his face of just stunned confusion. Oh my god! And so did the the fly because then I hit it with a swatter and it oh. didn't even move. Oh, yeah, it was on yeah, the ground and no. it was like I'm done. My yeah. dogs are like lizards. They're like mm. yeah, they, yeah, they, they grab <laughs> they it. They get yeah. them all the time. Yeah, yeah, they love them. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the first time he ever got one. He scares me when he gets one by the window because he feels like he, he's trying to trap it oh, by the window. Yeah, yeah. And he's and I'm like, hey, 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 you're gonna go through the window. Just, yeah, let's all just relax. Did you ever let him play down. that? game on the on do you have an ipad there's a bug game for your dog on the ipad i i, I don't i don't no? have an ipad no oh okay no, any kind of tablet it can yeah. okay so yeah. i could do it on my amazon tablet yeah okay yeah yeah, the, yeah. yeah my, my dogs love it gotcha all right <laughs> it's a little bug game that they can right. follow the- <laughs> i will you'll have to send it to yeah. me because i didn't i don't i'm not aware of this yeah uh uh carrie fisher her ashes are held in an urn uh shaped like a prozac pill oh. so yeah so she's a little bit of a weirdo Oh. Uh, Bruce Lee footage of from his actual funeral was uh, used in his last film, Game of Death. Whoa. There's a scene where you can see his face in his casket. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, my my request is that you guys lay me to rest here in the studio and just do the show around me. Oh, yeah. Just do the use me. Can as we the like console. lacquer you? you know? <laughs> like sit you up? Like did you ever go to one of those? Um, Displays where they take the the people who've donated their bodies to science and they like turn them inside out, like the bodies in motion, and they like lacquer them up and they they what? they preserve them. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but okay, I want it for the record <laughs> on the radio right now. Christy can have nothing to do with my dead body at all. All right, she fine. can't. She, there, weird things are going to happen. I don't just someone else. Yeah, we things. just prop you up in the. No, no lacquer, no, no, no. no. Oh, okay. All right. You're no fun at all. You're bothered by a bug carcass, <laughs> but me sitting here would be fine. <laughs> Dead? Uh, we could animate you somehow. I don't uh, know. Like maybe oh, a motor. Oh, no, now I'm going to be an animated thing. No. Yeah, like Chrissy, some kind of motor no, situation. No, Chrissy can't come near me anymore when I'm dead. Some kind of air brakes. No, or it's something. all over. <laughs> Air brakes I'm going to have on me now. No, we're done. All right. Uh, Luke Perry, uh, he wanted to be eco-friendly, so he was buried in a mushroom burial suit. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, yeah sure. All right. Uh, Ark West, the inventor of Doritos, his urn uh, is buried in a box surrounded by Dorito chips. All right. Not one potato chip inventor, but two on this yep. list. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Apparently, people that invent chips get weird. All yeah. right. Well, that's a um, corn chip and that's a crisp. Yes. So yes. they're really not neither one are right. potato mm-hmm. chips. So, all right. It's, uh, <laughs> wait, time out. Doritos are corn chips. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Pringles are pieces of- They're not made from potato? I mean, they are made from pieces of potato that okay. are, like, repressed. They're not real. I don't think they're real potato. Well, um, if they're pieces of potato, they're real potato. Um, yeah, but they, like, grate it down and, I don't know. Let's see. All right. It's a, it's a Pringle-shaped potato dough. Yep. Potato <laughs> dough? Yeah. We fry and season the crisps just before placing them into the can. Is the dough made of potatoes, though? Um, is there what, what actual per- potato What in? percentage? Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Okay, what percentage of Pringles is actually potato? Uh, I'll say 7%. Oh, you're you're way low. Okay, forty two percent. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, so that's nearly half there's, potato. There's potato in it. Yes. Yeah. Well, you went way low. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, because of the smile on your face, I thought you were gonna get me with something like cheese. Well, forty two. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. the cheese one. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the last. Uh, you know, potato dough. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Make potato things. Potato so. dough. Yeah. Uh, take potato. A break. Dough. Dough, okay. yes. <laughs> no, potato. Yeah. No, potato. No, no. <laughs> Forget it. Potato. You don't even oh, have to say oh, the no. second. No, 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 no. I got it. Because you just said, did I get it? That's it. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Chrissy. Your highbrow, your it. highbrow humor is way over my head. I can't possibly understand. I gave myself one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, I, all right. Uh, we got a couple more <laughs> left. We got a couple more left here. Uh, James Duhon from Star Trek. Some of his ashes were smuggled onto the International Space Station. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Aretha Franklin. She had four outfit changes for her three viewings and funeral. Aretha Franklin is dead. <laughs> I had no idea. This is what uh, 
I've had oh like three God. face plants that haven't been sponsored, so let me just get to at least this one. <laughs> Portions of the show this morning brought to us by Galena Insurance. Uh, call Tasha today at 219-866-0834. Let her take a look at your insurance. Make sure you're covering all the things you want to cover. Make sure you're not covering things you don't even own. 219-866-0834. Yes, Aretha Franklin's dead. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I had no idea. When did she yeah. die? Recently? Well, uh, a while ago. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah. yeah oh. A couple of years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Okay, uh, I, can't, I gotta get to a thing. I can't. I, can't, <laughs> I, I can't no get on idea. your roller coaster anymore. Uh, uh, author Roald Dahl. Uh, he had a Viking-inspired funeral where he was buried with some of his uh, possessions, like uh, oh. uh, pencils, a power saw, and chocolates. Did they set him on fire? Then isn't yeah. that what they do in a Viking? That's funeral? what I thought. That yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah. It's like push it out to sea and then and then they light the boat on fire. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. And lastly, Elizabeth Taylor. She wanted to be fashionably late to her service, so it began. 15 minutes after it was said announced time. Oh, she's so, so classy. I love her. Yeah, super yeah. classy. Yeah. <laughs> Eight husbands, right? Yeah. Mm, right? Nine? Nah, I want to say six. 20? Yeah? Yeah. No, uh, more than six. I think six because she married one twice. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so eight, eight marriages, you know? It's, yeah, uh, that's, yeah. It okay. still counts as a second marriage. Does it? I, I don't know. No. I uh, do I, I, yeah, I, I, it's going to take me a minute. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay. I'll, it'll be fine. It's, it's all right. Hey, this is David Allen Greer. You're listening to Steve Tui. That's what I listen to. Hi, what can I do for you? You got to ask yourself one question. Oh, yeah? What's that? Do I feel lucky? Say what? Well, do you punk? It is your lucky day because today is National Bingo Day. Bingo! Bingo what bingo? Bingo! Celebrate National Bingo Day by finding a local bingo hall for a day of gaming. Happy National Bingo Day. Bingo! Showtime! Bingo! Big winners! You're all big winners here in Tuyville. I'm not trying to make you laugh, Chrissy Martin. I'm just trying to do my screaming and yelling. Sure, thing. yeah. Because he's like, I wasn't even listening to you. She I was fine. not. Yeah, I like, told you I'm a great yeah, tuner outer. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> screaming over here into a microphone, pumped yeah. into her head. Yeah. And she couldn't care less. Uh, <laughs> this is the best part about our partnership. I do a show, she doesn't care. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh, not true. Portions of the show is running around just by Sander Cycle. You're home for Kawasaki vehicles, Ninja Motorcycles, and more. Visit them on 230 one in Rensselaer. Visit online at sandercycle.com. Be sure to like Sandercycle on Facebook. Also want to mention our friends over at Supercuts. If you need a haircut, I would visit the great folks over at Supercuts today and get yourself a haircut uh, in Rensselaer, Lowell, Valparaiso, and Chesterton. All right, Chrissy Martin, today is National Sunglass Day on top of it being National Bingo Day. Yeah. Uh, and our poll question today asking, uh, how much do you usually spend on Sunglasses. Um, mm-hmm. Now we found out earlier, you spend about a dollar twenty-five on sunglasses. Yep. You do not spend heavy on the sunglasses. No. So, and I usually spend somewhere between five and ten is usually my mm-hmm. wheelhouse for but sunglasses. But how many pairs do you have? Um. Okay, I have my main pair. Okay. And those are between five and ten dollars. Mm-hmm. Then I have. Um, a nicer, fancier pair. Those were twelve dollars. Oh, oh, I wear those once in a while. Yeah, and then I have my backups. Okay, something on the backups has either broken or gotten scratched or okay. So sure, I sure. have two or three pairs in my glove compartment mm-hmm. that are just there. If I get in the car, it's sunny out, and I left my regular You're glasses desperate. somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I'll just throw those on just to get through the the drive I'm on, mm-hmm. and then they'll go back in there. But like the nose piece is broken, and so it doesn't gotcha. sit right, or the the lenses are kind of scratched because mm-hmm. they're only, you know, three four dollars or whatever. So gotcha. Uh, so technically, I probably have about four pairs of sunglasses, mm-hmm. but really two that are functional. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, right. How about you? Uh, I think I I'm trying to count. I think I count six. I have six pairs. Yeah. Are they all different? Like, are they different um, kinds? Are no, they fashionable? Uh, yeah, they're. I think they're fashionable. Okay. Sometimes I get into, like, I like this one particular pair, so then every time I see that design, because mm-hmm. it's it's hit or miss, mm-hmm. I'd buy another pair of them, because gotcha. I just like that one. So, okay. Yeah, so I have three pairs of that one particular design that I really like. Gotcha. Yeah, and then, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like cheap ones, because then I don't get upset when I break them. If I sit on them, if I... 
drop them, if I yeah. lose them. I you lose know. them on a yeah. water slide or something, no big deal. I got right. 10 more pairs in the car. Right. So I, that's <laughs> that's why they don't bother me at all if I, you know, if I, yeah. if I lose them, I yeah. cheap with them. So anyway, what uh, uh, we gave people uh, multiple different options today. We yeah. said uh, uh, five to 10. 10 to 50. Well, first we start with a dollar to five because we had to put that in for Chrissy. Yeah. So then the dollar to five, five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 30, or 50 or more. So where's, where are we at with the answer? Yeah. So five to 10 is at 28.3%, and okay. 10 to 15 is at 19.6%. Okay. 50 or more, this Ooh. is shocking me, is at 19.6%. Yeah. $50 or more on pair of sunglasses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. No, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, one to five dollars is seventeen point four percent, and fifteen to thirty is at fifteen point two percent. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, all right, a lot of people spending more on their sunglasses than you do. I guess, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like I said, I could see if it's prescription or something. Then we mm-hmm. go fifty dollars more. Yeah, I don't get it. Otherwise. Not not for fashion. <laughs> it doesn't do it for you. No. For- yeah, mine are fashionable. I have them in every color. No, no, I'm saying, <laughs> saying you wouldn't spend fifty dollars or more for fashion. No. no. Oh, one no. time. <laughs> there was there was a lot of excitement in that in that uh, in that one time I forget so my friend had found a pair of coach sunglasses and mm-hmm. gave them to me and I did wear them for a really long time but they were free <laughs> and, and then what happened to them I think I left them somewhere lost uh, them broke them I didn't matter because yep. guess what I didn't have anything in, right. in, but I, they were cool mm-hmm. I get it they're coach yep. I didn't have any I didn't have any, you know, thing to lose, though, yeah. so it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tina says, I don't usually wear sunglasses, but I'm with Chrissy uh, uh, and Dollar Tree with my cheaters. Yeah. <laughs> I have a pair in my car, my husband's truck, two pair at work, a pair next to the bed, and a pair next to my recliner. Yeah, so you've got to have them everywhere. I do. Right? I do need more because here. So mm-hmm. I was running out uh, uh, yesterday, and I grabbed my cheaters from work yesterday uh-huh. so then i had to remember to make sure i brought him back to work and you know it's oh, like oh yeah, yeah. So I gotta get you a definitely pairs. have to and they have so many options like you yeah. could get every color under the sun oh i don't care about that i just yeah cheap is fine yeah. just so they work mm-hmm. uh mary Jo says i wear prescription sunglasses so probably about 200 dollars. that's different wow. that's i totally get that yeah yeah uh jay says i haven't worn sunglasses since the 80s i spend a lot of time uh under a welding hood so uh i like as much light as possible so like oh. at work he's got the hood on so so then when he's at uh, when he's at work or when he's out of work he just wants the sun he wants to see everything that's going on that makes sense to mm-hmm. me so I uh, I get that I'm gonna take a look at uh, those were some of the answers on the Dewayville Show Facebook page you can go to any of our Facebook pages we'd appreciate it if you go there and you like us you got the Q you got 98 Gold and you got the Dewayville Show Facebook page you can uh, go and answer on all of those places so I'm gonna go and see what uh, some of the answers are over there. Um, Cheryl says she doesn't have any sunglasses. Uh, Melody says less than 20 bucks. I, I lose them or a kid sits on them too often. Mm-hmm. Heather says prescription sunglasses, so not cheap polarized lenses. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sue says very little, little. I don't wear them much, so she doesn't spend a lot on them. Richie says $20 from the gas station quick and easy. Uh, makes sense. Mm-hmm. Sherry says $14 at Walmart. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's usually where I end up getting mine is, is Walmart. The, my fancy $12 ones I got at a boutique in Florida, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Very fancy. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So, uh, we've got, uh, summer fun tickets to give away, uh, throughout the summer. We've, uh, we're doing all kinds of cool stuff and we appreciate all the sponsors of our summer fun here at the radio station. Steve Specialized Services, Cornerstone Real Estate, Kasanovich and Umfleet McDonald's, Elsa Chevrolet and Kentland, Moan on Telephone, Rensselaer Marathon, Raceway and BP, uh, Jasper County REMC, Bozeman Oil, Smith's Ace Farm Store, Virk's Fine Jewelry, Kindle Insurance, Clark's Cutting Edge and Clark's Garden and Floral Boutique, Arnie's of Rensselaer, Gene and Tony's DeMott Auto Sales, The Good Table, South Shore Convention and Visitors Authority, uh, Sheets Family Dentistry, A&B Auto Repair, and our good friends over at United Way of Northwest Indiana. Also want to mention, by the way, uh, Rensselaer Marathon Raceway and BP is uh, sponsoring the Queen Pageant, which is going on on WLQI this Friday evening uh, with uh, Terry Fagley and uh, and Cheryl oh, are, are doing the, the broadcast. Uh, and I'll be there uh, uh, not saying anything. I'm going to do all the oh, technical okay. stuff because sure, sure. I, yeah. I don't really know what to say during the, the pageant. <laughs> I mean, I could just go, ooh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at her. So cute. <laughs> that's about all I can yeah. add to the proceedings. So so I'll just uh, push the buttons. So <laughs> anyway, now that's why you called. The, the Nat is back. Oh, no. Will you get rid of it already? 
I'm positive I killed it. I saw it, the carcass fall off of the keyboard. So this is, <laughs> this is him looking for his friend. He's like, hey, anybody seen Bill? Oh, yeah, no. I was, I was out here yesterday. I was, I was flying through here with Sam. Now I can't find him. Oh. Now I can't find Bill. Oh. I f- feel like this is like the Bermuda Triangle place. Oh, yeah. no. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, we know we know what happened to Sam. He flew near Chrissy, and that was all it took. Oh, and, uh, no. Don't make me feel yep. bad. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, none of that's why you called, but I do have a reason for you to call. 219-866-4104. Okay? We're going to play a little game. We're okay. going to play... Uh, what did Chrissy pull out of her purse? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we were gonna call. <laughs> we were gonna call it like purse bingo because that's what made me think of it when we said oh, bingo fun. today. Yeah. So, but but I don't really know how we do that. We'd have to get out bingo sheets and stuff. And so, um, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh-huh. The first person to guess whatever is in uh, Chrissy's purse, yeah, will win a four pack of tickets to Holiday World. Okay. Oh, fun. So so here's how we're gonna do it. Two one nine eight six six four one zero four. You ask a question about. Chrissy's thing, mm-hmm. um, and if uh, like, like it'll be like twenty questions. Uh-huh. So if the answer is yes, you can ask another one. Okay, and you can keep going until you guess. But once you guess, if you're wrong, then you're done, and we move on to the next call. Okay, Does that sound good. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Yeah. All right. So give us a call at two one nine eight six six four one zero four. We'll start with a couple of hints. Okay. Okay. It yeah. is. Um, it's pretty small. Yes. Um, uh, Chrissy can hold it with. Uh, two fingers? With two fingers, so yeah. it's very light. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it makes a noise. It does. Okay. <laughs> so, so that's the noise that it makes. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, um, I feel like that's that's enough hints for, for someone so? to, to, All right. to guess, for goodness sakes. 219-866-4104 uh, for a four-pack of tickets to Holiday World. Give us a call. And uh, uh, take your guesses on what you think Chrissy Martin has uh, from her purse. Um, it is little. Mm-hmm. It's very little. Yes. Um, it's it's got teeth. She would say it does have it's, teeth. It, when 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 it makes that noise, it looks like it's eating. Oh, it does. Looks, yeah, it does. <laughs> looks like it's like a little <laughs> like a little Pac Man eating. So, yeah. All right. So two one nine eight six six four one zero four. We'll line up the callers and we will play in just a little bit. Guess what is in Chrissy's purse? Two one nine eight six six four one zero four. All righty, welcome back to Tuyville. Steve and Chrissy with you here, hanging out. We're playing. Uh, guess what's in Chrissy's purse for a four pack of tickets to Holiday World? Good morning. Who's this? Karen Howard. Hi, Karen. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. All right. So, so here's the hint. So far, it's small. It's got teeth, and it makes this noise. Uh, you can ask any question you want, and if uh, if the answer is yes, then you get to keep uh, uh, trying, or you can take a guess. But once you take one guess, then uh, uh, that's your one guess. So, uh, so you have a question for uh, for Chrissy about what it might be? Um, in order to make that noise, do you have to pinch it? Yes, you do. Yes. Is it one of those clips you use to hold like a bag of chips close? Uh, oh, no, it's... You, you're, you're close. Like a binder clip or, I mean, you know. Uh, it's no, so it's, close. It's, 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 that's, that's not what it, I'm sorry. You're you're close though. It's a clip. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, we got to move on to the next person. Hi. Good morning. So, uh, so Karen guessed it was like a chip clip. It's not a chip clip, but you do pinch it to to make it make that noise. And it was in Chrissy's purse. Who's this? Julie. Hey, Julie. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. All right. You want to take a guess uh, at what it is, or ask a question? Uh, if uh, ask any question you want about what it might be. Well, how about a hair clip? Yeah, that's yes! what it is. That's, that's right. What it is. Oh, I feel so bad for Karen. It was so close. <laughs> Hold on, Julie. You got yourself uh, four pack of tickets. Hold on. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. That's how we do it. Uh, yes, uh, uh, that was a, a fun little game. It didn't yeah. go as well as I expected, but but I think the more we play it, I think uh, people will understand the idea of Chrissy has a lot, a lot of stuff in her purse. <laughs> 
I so do. we will be able to play this game lots and lots and lots. So uh, uh, we will uh, play once again uh, at some point. Uh, guess what's in Christie's purse? Deweyville. There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. With Steve Tuey. You managed to screw up the screw up. Sure you won't change your mind? Is there something wrong with the one I have? And Chrissy Martin. Disco is not dead. Disco is life. <sighs> well, that's great. Either I have a monster in my kitchen or I'm completely crazy. Well, welcome back to Tuyville. Steve and Chrissy with you here. Portion of the show is morning brought to us by Fozzie Kenneth Appliances in Rensselaer. And DeMott, if you are in the need of a new refrigerator, they've got so many different options for you over there at Fozzie Kenneth Appliances in Rensselaer and DeMott. Check them out. Be sure to like them on Facebook. Follow on Instagram. Also want to mention our friends over at Gene and Tony's DeMott Auto Sales. 726 North Halleck Street in DeMott. Visit with Gene and Amanda today. Get into the used car that you're looking for. Used vehicle, whatever it is. Car, truck, SUV, they've got you covered. They'll also help you out with the financing. Financing, figure everything out for you. Uh, really helpful, great transactions at Gene and Tony's DeMott Auto Sales in DeMott. All right. Uh, this uh, I found on one of the uh, 403,602 different websites that I go to every day to find fun stuff for us to talk about. Controversial things people pretend to hate. Yeah, like pumpkin spice, it says. Like a lot oh. of people are like, pumpkin spice. <laughs> People talk like that. That's what they oh, sound like. Yeah. I love pumpkin spice, and I'm not afraid to admit no, it. No, no. But then, but when you bring that up, don't people complain about the pumpkin spice time of year? Yes. Yeah. Everyone hates pumpkin. Yeah. I don't know if I they mean, do. You air know? quotes hates. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like right. I don't. I don't really. But get I it. lean into the pumpkin. Yeah. Ever since I figured out that you could cook a pumpkin, I'm like, I'm but, right on board. <laughs> you know, there's lots of things you can cook. They're so I mean, are I mean, you're you so can, right. You can cook a lot of things. You can cook so <laughs> many things. So Chris right. is like, I was really anti pumpkin until I learned I could stick it in an oven. Yeah. In a, an oven? Mm-hmm. In an oven? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> don't you know? You can stick it in the oven? <laughs> what the <hell> was that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, uh, they say uh, people on social media are talking about the controversial things that people only pretend to hate. Uh, here are the top ones, pumpkin spice, um, fanatics, like fan bases of Taylor Swift, BTS, Marvel, things like that. So I don't hate the Swifties. Okay. Okay. I mean, uh, Taylor and I have, have talked about it the many times that we've hung out and, and chit chatted about, uh, you know, the, the Swifties, you know, I mean, I, I, I understand, you know, their, their love of her. I just... I guess I don't. Uh, um, I don't get the craze yeah. of it. Okay. That's, I mean, I you know I'm a fan of a lot of things. I just don't get nuts about it. All right. You know? well, when you were in your motley crudum. Yeah, I never really got nuts about it. Oh. Like, not the way. Like, I mean, we were talking about people sat outside the concert to listen to it. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. And that time that I hung out with Taylor Swift. Hey, this is Taylor Swift, and you're listening to Tui. And she said that to me. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, I was like, uh, Taylor, does you know? What do you think of these Swifties? And, and mm-hmm. she's like, they're they're great. You know, I just wish they'd be nicer to Max boyfriends. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, so, you know. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the hatred of Nickelback. Yes, I don't get it. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go on the record and say, the handful of songs that I know of Nickelback. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, they're I not do. bad. They're fine. They're okay. They're okay. Yeah, they're, I don't. I'm not like a fan. I wouldn't run out to their concert. No, but. They're, if yeah. they pop up, I'll I listen. Yeah, I, like I don't some hate their, their songs. music. It's yeah, good. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Creed. I don't like Creed. No? No, I don't know what it is. Even though Nickelback and Creed sound exactly the same, they the singers. They do sound a lot alike, you know, yeah. It's, it's oh, me, me, boy, yeah. they, all, they both kind of remind me of Eddie Vedder, so... And they're yeah. all like Eddie Vedder, like wannabes. There was yeah. a time there in the late 90s, early 2000s where everyone had to sound like that. Yeah. Every right. band, mm-hmm. their, their singer, hey, this is and this, and this ain't real about whatever. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, and then also people uh, with the Hagar era Van Halen. I, I don't, I didn't even know that that was a thing. I oh. thought a lot of people liked Sammy Hagar's uh, time in Van Halen. 
I mean, all right. I could understand them not liking the Gary Sharon one album with Van Halen. Well, that sure. was a little bit weird. I mean, I mean, that's that that would be like I don't, had a great nose though. Well, <laughs> that, that always helps with the singing. <laughs> I mean, it's, it does. Uh, yeah, sure. Didn't yeah. Michael Jackson say that? That's the reason he had so many plastic surgeries is because it helps him hit the high notes. Sure, that <laughs> that was the reason. Not yeah, that he was I a big like, freak of new. I feel like your nose is helpful in your singing abilities. All right, yeah. I suppose. Uh, the word moist. Yes, I think this is made up. I think, think that it's is made a, up. I think that is a made up thing that people don't like anymore. All right, I don't. I don't care for it. It's fine, but. What, Explain it to me then. It's just a gross word. It's it's just about wetness in a cake. <laughs> There's ew. I really don't like it in in terms of food. Yeah, cake moist <laughs> cake is the best kind of cake in the world. All right. See, I find this to be completely okay. So when we were growing up, yeah, and you saw a. a a cake mix at the store. Yeah. Well, and I grew up seven years later, so mine was there six years later. <laughs> so the cake mixes were different then. <laughs> it was a different time, Steve. I don't know if you know this or not. It's it not a different, different time. time. It's it not a different, a different time. time. <laughs> <laughs> it was seven years. It was not a different time. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, I mean, it was a different time. I mean, yeah. yes, there was some differences. Yeah. Like, like, you know, in my era... There wasn't even a sponge, SpongeBob ice cream in yours. It had to have gumballs in the eyes. Right, you know? yeah, right. And yeah. as my cake mixes had pudding right in the mix. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, you didn't worry about it being wet enough or whatever. <laughs> but but it was, if it said moist on the box, Blech. no, no. It did not disgust <laughs> you until about 10 years ago something happened yeah. where all of a sudden... People decided have, well, moist was a bad word. A it wasn't a bad word before 10 years ago. Yes, what your if turn, I, turn. What if I never liked cake? I, did, I never liked cake. Well, no, but that's just... <laughs> that's, I mean, there's some things that just happen that make you just weird. You know, I mean, it's, you know... All right. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I've never really liked cake. I've not been a cake person, you know? So I don't really care if it's wet or dry. <laughs> when you were a sugar eater... <laughs> yeah. What were your go-to desserts? Um, cookies probably like maybe a chocolate chip cookie. Okay. No, I don't really like, you don't chocolate like chocolate either. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What were my go-to desserts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I used to make these rice crispy things with peanut butter and molasses. Those were pretty good. <laughs> Was oh. there ever a point in your life where you weren't weird? Like was um, that was that ever a thing? No, no. I mean, I'm not being negative. It's I'm just you were different. Is it different? It better. I mean, you know, I don't mean to be you know all weird, but you know. I'm sorry for the realness. Yeah, Kanye, you know yeah. it. Um, things in layers, which those are all chocolate, so that doesn't really make any sense either. Things in layers. Yeah, like a nutty bar. Things you could tear apart one by one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to think. <sighs> I mean, peanut butter has always been. My like Your a go, -to go yeah sweet. like yeah all right yeah all right I suppose uh, mm -hmm. yeah anyway that's <laughs> I'm with them on on moist uh, emojis who hates emojis what what a weird thing to pretend to hate I don't know even. that's weird why, just would, why, why do we hate them I don't know there's no reason to hate an emoji it's just an emoji all it's right. fine it's totally good uh, the American versions of international cuisines. Such as tacos, pizza, Chinese food. The American versions. What what are the international versions of those? Right there. I mean, it, I've been told I've never been to Italy, but uh -huh. I've been told that pizza in Italy is different than here. Okay, like it's I don't know what the difference is, and I would imagine there's an Americanized version of Chinese food. You know that that Chinese food that we have here is probably not the same as in China. Oh yeah, you know oh, yeah, but. But is there a big outcry? Is this? I feel like they stretched this to try and get the ten. No, oh, like right. I'm not. I don't know. Let's say it's possible. Uh, American versions of international cuisines. Uh, I talk to a lot of people. You know, at least four in a week, and and <laughs> none, of them, yeah, none of them. Yeah, none of them seem to complain. How many about of this. those have paused? That's, yeah. <laughs> How many? One. One. <laughs> one. One. All right, all right. Uh, Apple or Google? No, that's not a made-up hatred. No, 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 no. 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 I'm all sorry, right. but uh, uh, my my dislike for Apple is because of their their pain in the backsidery. Yeah. Okay. That and also, you know, that all of your stuff is made by ten year olds. 
But you, you know? love Steve Jobs. Oh, I've talked about how weird that is. Yeah, yeah. that makes no sense oh, yeah. at all. No, no, yeah, that I, yeah. I, I don't. But here's the thing: I don't love Steve Jobs. He's a bad guy. Uh, there's, uh, there's bad guy with good ideas. Yes. Yeah. So there's things about him that inspire me. There's mm-hmm. things about him that I that I like. Yeah. But, um, but I don't necessarily love the way he did things. I mean, I think he was very mean to people in. Uh, uh, he had good ideas and had inspirational ideas, but he could be really mean to mm-hmm. his employees. I mean, you can't make I an totally omelet with, without making you know? breaking some eggs, you know. <laughs> I, I suppose. I just i I think I just don't believe in tre- treating human beings badly, mm-hmm. you know, or yeah. having you know five year olds make my phone like that's you know those are just things I'm against. Sure, sure. You yeah. on the other hand, you might like that. That's fine for Shh. you. That's fine for you, sure. Chris Martin. Who makes uh, your phone? Uh, Google? Uh, okay, Google, who makes my phone? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, Google, who makes Samsung phones? Oh. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, Samsung, South Korean company that is one of the world's largest producers of electronic devices. Samsung specializes in the production of a wide variety of consumer and industry electronics, including appliances, digital media devices, semiconductors, memory chips, and integrated systems. See? Okay, sure, sure. Did yes. any did it say children anywhere in there? <laughs> did it say, <laughs> do you think did that, it say children do, anywhere in do there? Do you think if you asked it about Apple, it would say children? Yeah. Hey Google, do children make Apple products? According to Edu Birdie. Apple's company has child labor in its supply chain. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Yuck. <laughs> and, what, what if they and, have permits? And, and, Is it okay and, then? And, and <laughs> you've, avoided the, you've avoided the real truth of this for yeah. so long. You pushed me into that. Yeah, you're yeah. aware that you pushed me into that. What if they have work that. permits? Then it's okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for the children. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um... Let's see, uh, uh, pineapple on a pizza. Nope, that's that's a real hatred. That's no, a, that's we a, get. A, I just ordered a <laughs> a pizza with pineapple on it two days ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's great. I love pineapple. I do. Yeah, it's enjoyable. on pizza. It's I great. love pizza. Have you tried it? Yes, you've I've tried, tried it. it. You tried yes. it. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Like <laughs> do you think my hatred is just? I don't made know up, how you could like not like it. The word moist. I mean, you know? it's 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 pineapple. It's Cheese, put those bad boys together, happiness. No, this <laughs> it doesn't feel that way to me. I I like pineapple. Yeah. I like pizza. Yeah, put those they, hands together. Those two <laughs> should never meet. <laughs> that is, Got a no. happiness sandwich. You link those yeah, fingers up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys put ham on it too? Like, do you do the full Hawaiian? No, no. no. Oh, regular okay. sauce, pineapple. Yeah. Oh, regular sauce. Yeah, regular pineapple. sauce. So yeah. it's not a Hawaiian pizza. No. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I'm going to pass on the pineapple on the pizza. I used to work at a pizza place, so we had every kind of pizza. Like, we tried all the stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, air fryers. Who doesn't like air fryers? I'm Who's... over mine. It's just taking up counter space and uh, annoying me. no, really? Yeah, it's just, I never, ever use it. Never. Oh. No. Mm-mm. No, I use mine all the time. Nope. Here's my problem, though. Um, it does. It does smoke sometimes. Oh. Like like the drippings will will smoke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I can't use it when I have Ace. Oh, he thinks the house is on fire. And it <laughs> scares the heck out of him. Oh, he yeah. goes and hides. Yeah, he, he starts shaking. He just like. Oh my god. Yeah. He. Yeah. There's something about. Do your dogs notice like something burning or smoke? Nope. Okay. There's something in him. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Let's say I'm making a, a frozen pizza and a piece of cheese will drop on the bottom and, and like cause yeah. like a burning smell or something. Okay. He will start shaking. Oh. He's like deathly afraid of fire or something. I don't know what it is. That's strange. Yeah. And if the air fryer is smoking, uh huh. Yep. He Huh. Um if I'm outside on the grill. Yeah. The grill will quasi block his way in the door. Mm-hmm. He will wait at the bottom of the stairs. Like you got to get that out of the way. Oh, like, I don't know he's what not a Dalmatian or it, something. Uh, I mean, I don't understand. No, why. no, I don't know what it is, but he's got something in him that he hmm. knows fire and is not a fan. And he gets yeah. really scared. Like I mean, the the pizza stuff. Like 
<laughs> oh, so by turning up the Alexa, I turned up my oh, uh, my yeah. uh, calendar reminder to tell me to do some more work. Good job. Um, yeah, I'll get to it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> take it easy. Right. Mm-hmm. Phone's like a wife. Could you? Could you? Could you? I will. I will. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, yeah. So uh, anything smoking, he just he starts shaking and gets really scared. Yeah, yeah that's so. why I don't like the air fryer. Also, I, so I'm cleaning it. I'm I don't have to clean the oven. I mean, but like twice a year, I clean the oven. But like, I'm yeah. not every time I cook something in it. It's not an ordeal. No, oh, yeah, no, I yeah. enjoy it. I make the wings in there all the time. No, yep. Nope. Uh, and lastly, the drama was the number ten thing on the list. Again, I think they're stretched. Yeah, no one likes drama. It's fine. That's you're just being weird now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh speaking of foods and, and cooking of the foods, mm-hmm. there's a baseball team, a uh college uh summer baseball team in Macon, Georgia. And I love this name. Uh huh. They're called the Macon Bacon. That's the baseball team. All right. The yeah. Macon Bacon. That's that's really funny. Right. That's fantastic. That's a great name for for a baseball team. Yeah, I like it. Do you know who their uh, seven-foot slice of bacon mascot is? You just said it's a seven-foot slice of bacon. Do no. you know what they call it? Uh, I don't know. What's his name? What's his name? Hmm. The I don't know. What is it? Kevin. Ke- <laughs> of course. I mean, I mean, that come makes, on. Just makes sense. Their mascot is Kevin. Bacon, a piece oh, of bacon. I get it now. I just thought you meant it was like Kevin. Like it's just no <laughs> Kevin bacon. bacon. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Even if it was just like Ted or something like that's just his name. No, Nick. It's no, Nick the bacon. It's Kevin Bacon <laughs> makes sense now. Yeah. All right, uh, but uh, not everyone is amused as I am by all this. Uh, an animal rights group called the uh, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. That's the name of an animal rights group? All right, yeah. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. I guess so. Okay. See, you know what that says to me? Responsible Medicine. Does that spell anything? No? (laughs) Pickerm. All right. Uh, Here's what this says to me. You're not proud of your, your stance. You're trying to hide your stance to be sneaky. Okay. That's what I think. Why not? I mean, PETA. People for the ethical treatment of animals. Okay, at least yeah, you're telling me sense. what you stand yeah. for. I get yeah. it. At least you're, you know, you're you're standing for something. Uh-huh. Okay, but physicians' committee for responsible medicine. No, that's it, it, you're an animal rights group. Don't do that. Well, but they're physicians. They're doctors. Are they though? I don't know. They don't know. Doctors against the mistreatment of. Okay, well, anyway. Right. If they yeah. call themselves doctors against the mistreatment of animals, I would know what they stand for. All right. Okay. But also, what's your problem with bacon, yo? Uh, they say bacon increases cancer risk, and they're asking the team to change its name to something that's healthier. Okay. Come on. Can we stop the Macon broccoli? No, it doesn't work. Yeah. You could make broccoli, making broccoli. You know, like chopping broccoli. <laughs> you know. <laughs> there it is, the face palm today brought to us by the Hideout Bar and Bait. The Hideout is a great place to go hide out and hang out when your uh, friend makes you face plant uh, and you need to just have an alcoholic beverage. 3159 North 3200 East Road in Beaverville. Try your luck on their Renville gaming machines. Be sure to play it responsibly. Okay. I just feel like sometimes can you just leave people be? Oh, yeah. I mean, can you? Okay, they're not promoting bacon. They're having some fun. It's a little minor league baseball team. Yeah. Well, you don't think that when somebody sees the the mascot, they don't go, ooh, yeah, bacon. I think if people think, smell, talk about mm-hmm. bacon, they think, ooh, yay, bacon. Yeah. And it's just because it's bacon. Maybe they sell, like, bacon bouquets at the... at the. That would be great. At the, uh, you know, the eatery. What is the concession stand? <laughs> Remember what it was called? <laughs> Everyday life is so hard for you, isn't it? It's just, it's just so yeah. hard. Poor the, Chrissy. At the eatery, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> excuse me, what do you guys have at your baseball eatery? <laughs> oh. uh, he said, uh, uh, it doesn't look like the make and bacon are uh, uh, in any way worried about the criticism. Uh, they said they were surprised to hear the criticism, which uh, has also been posted on billboards in the city. Oh, so they're really doing it up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He said the Macon Bacon 
do not view ourselves as a glorification of any unhealthy lifestyle. We pride ourselves on being fun-natured or an organization focused on bringing families and communities together. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. Making bacon. Yeah. He added that while they do serve a ton of bacon in the stadium eatery, uh, (laughs) they also uh, added What did they call it? Uh, They didn't. They they, didn't, though. (laughs) Concession sand is what all of us call it. That's what the whole world calls it. All right. Uh, Concessions, probably. They don't think they say stand, but they say concessions. (laughs) They don't say eateries. (laughs) They don't say eatery. (laughs) Uh, They said they do also offer plant-based options at their eateries. All right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as for the name, he said, uh, we will not consider a name change ever. So, All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, I mean, so. their whole thing is built around the yeah. bacon. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. making bacon, for yeah. goodness sakes. Just take it easy. It's mm-hmm. all it's all fine. It's all going to be okay. All right. Why don't you go stand for something important, like, you know, not having five-year-olds make phones. How about that, before we worry about bacon? Bacon. <laughs> All righty, Stephen Chris back here in Deweyville on the Q98. Head over to Jasper Junction. It's Tuesday. That means 50% off all thrift store new and used clothing. Every Tuesday, open 9 to 5. Head over there and enjoy all the 13,000 square foot of thrift store and flea market goodness. There is always something there for everyone. It's a great place to turn your house into a home. That's Jasper Junction. All right. Um, we got an email earlier this morning, too, Chrissy, and I've been meaning to get to from uh, from Kent. He said, this morning's conversation gave me an idea for a bit. You and I were talking about uh, uh, our friend Tony, who used to be my friend Tony, and then you absconded with him. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I haven't talked to him in a uh, very long time. <laughs> well, is that my fault that you're ignoring him? I, you know, I, 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 I what if he's say, ignoring me? I didn't, you don't I didn't, know. I didn't say you guys had a good relationship. Sure, I just sure. say you absconded <laughs> with my friend. I don't, I just, sure, sure. Listen, I, he's he's one of my best friends, and him and I talk maybe once a month if we're lucky. You know what I mean, so it's like, I mean, the our, our last conversation was I was already asleep, and he said, I'm watching Newsroom. I forgot how good this was. Yeah. And uh, and I texted him about 24 hours later and said, <laughs> said yeah, it's pretty good. I watched it about a month ago. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And then he he liked it, which, by the way, I don't even know how to do that on a text. I, I, I don't know oh, if that's just an Apple it's thing. It's an Apple thing. It is an Apple yeah. thing. Okay, good. Because be, people come back at me and they say liked or laughed at or loved. I'm surprised you can see then, it. You know, I thought you could only see it if you were an It just Apple. says the word. Oh. It says, like, Chrissy Martin liked, da, 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 and then it reads me back the whole oh. text. As I say, I don't usually, if I know you don't have an Apple phone, I don't bother. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, it works. Just so you know, it just doesn't oh, show me anything. Who knew? It just it just <laughs> tells me that it does. Oh. So anyway, Kent said he had an idea for a bit. Tuesday is two seconds with Tony. He says uh, basically he gets to say hi and then you cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah, I like it. It makes him a part of the show. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the problem is uh, uh, with Tony, and uh, and I and I say this with with all due love and respect. Yeah, um, he'll think that he needs to be paid for that every Tuesday. Thing. <laughs> he'll somehow try to wiggle that in and be like, well, if I am a part of the show, I really should get paid. You know, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, me too, Tony. Yeah. So, <laughs> Yeah. If ifs and buts, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can go make Apple phones. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're too old, ma'am. Ma'am, you're too old to be making these Apple phones. All oh, right, man. Uh, uh, well, uh, before we get to uh, uh, my whip and getting you to do all the work that I need you to do today, yeah. Um, do you have uh, your uh, your timer ready to go? I sure do. All right, here we go. It is time for our mush down. Lots of things in a little bit of time. It is three hours. Motion to 30 seconds. Okay, today we talked about uh, a janitor accidentally destroyed decades of research. <laughs> Does that I say? Oh, he unplugged the refrigerator. Oops. He had one job. Oops. One job. <laughs> Oops. Did not do that. Oops. <laughs> um, someone tossed their mom's ashes on to the stage at a Weird. pink concert. Weird. But uh, she got front row seats. Weird. <laughs> She gave her so weird. front row seats, no? Weird. Um, people who napped uh, get have bigger brains. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, we talked about controversial things people hate. Oh. And... Uh, you just became British. 
<laughs> I did. <laughs> Controversial things that people hate. Did it sound British? Yeah, you did. That was weird. British. I didn't yeah. even try. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, oh, we talked about the bacon, bacon, yeah. bacon Kevin, bacon, yeah. bacon, mm-hmm. yep. bacon, bacon. It's lots bacon. of other stuff, yep. but anyway. Bacon yeah. Stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. If you want to hear all the stuff we talked about and actually hear all about them, you can do so on our podcast on Spotify, iHeart, Apple Podcasts, and more, including the station apps, the Q and 98 Gold. It's right there. You can download the show. The whole show, right there. All the talking parts. Uh, Thank you so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed listening to the show today as much as we enjoyed doing it. Have yourself a phenomenal Tuesday. We're going to do it all again tomorrow. Right here in Julieville. Take care.